we could talk offline. All right? You don't have to wait for me to go live, okay? But uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about this here. Doing a little bit of research. This is a research show, so again, I know a little bit about him uh, as far as in the coaching ranks, but on the field, I know about him pretty good there. But so we're gonna research this together. All right. So this is one of them things. And where does what does this mean for the draft? Now that we got our OC, what does his vision look like? Um, what does this mean as far as free agency? Now that we got our OC, man, we got a lot to unpack here. Hopefully we can rock this mic for about at least two and a half hours and then we get up out of here. We're going to do a mock draft right after it. Now that we know who our OC is and the potential setup there, man. So a little bit of sighting here, okay? First, let me read this cash app real quick. Shout out to Kevin Shepard, man. I'm showing you some love for the show, man. Big love, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that big dono early, man. Big love, big love. Shout out to Willie Love. Steve Wilkes, who? I'm loving these off-season moves. He said, Steve Wilkes, who? Loving these off-season moves. Thank you for another big donation right there. Yeah, Steve Wilkes, who? I tell you this. I don't know if I want to start the show off like this, but Frank Wright is definitely filling his quota. <laughs> He's definitely meeting his black quota. <laughs> ah man, Frankie. I'll tell you about it, man. I'm gonna talk a look about. Let's take a look. Give me a second. All right. Let me show y'all some love in this chat real quick before we get too far into it. Okay. Thank you guys. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Share this with your friends, man. I'm just a nigga with a mic, bro. I ain't, ain't nobody special. I ain't no Stephen A. Smith. I'm me, bro. I just give you the best of me. So if you would and you appreciate me, man, show that love by uh, uh, sharing the screen and like button or whatever else the fuck on. Shout out to Rockhead. What's going on? What's up, 2B child? Where you been? Chilling, man. I'm in the cut like a motherfucker. Shout out to Khalil. What's going on? D Cash, what's good? Mr. White, my favorite name. What's up, Ice Killmonger? I see you. Shout out to Michael Iguagua. Shout out to Brian Sproul. What is the song, This She'll Ride? What song is this, Here She Ride? <laughs> okay. Shout out to Arjanon. Arjanon Ronsur. What's going on? Shout out to Landon. I see you. What's up, D Cash? What's good? What's good with it? Shout out to Elite Goods LLCs. Peace, peace, peace. Positive energy always creates elevation. Yes, sir. I like that. Not as it's stillness. Yes, sir. I like that, brother. Shout out to you, brother. Ain't nothing wrong with peace. SC Base. What's good? Who that dude? Who that dude? You're in the wrong chat. This is not a New Orleans Saints chat. Let's take your ass. You got to worry about Baker Mayfield coming there. Okay? Get the hell on. Uh, now nah, you can stay. I'm just full of you. Shout out to uh, Tubi Child. What's going on? Oh, what's up? Oh, Uncle Quan rising, brother. Yes, sir. Shout out to Leo Steed, 299. Which Wilson? What you mean, Wilson? Shout out to uh, uh, Haywood. I don't know this dude, honestly. It's all right. I'm going to try to bring some clarity for you, brother. Laquan Jones, I see you. I said it would be Thomas Brown two days ago. I feel you. I feel you. Illmatic, what's happening? In? My nigga, Eel. What's good? Eel. Oh, my God. Eel, boy. What's up, Doug? Make sure I head over to What's Up, Doug, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe to his channel as well. My man doing big things over there. Shout out to that nigga, Dougie. Dug, dug, dug. Shout out to Joker NC. What's good? Killer Rasta. Let's go, man. Getting this staff put together piece by piece. I feel you. I feel you. Curtis Perez. I'm going to get started. Y'all, I'm going to get started. I got to get started. But I love all you guys. Let me get started. King of the Queen City. Best coaching staff in NFC South. Show your right. Show your right. Shout out to Monet 2K. What's up? Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. We're going to get it. All right. I got to get started, y'all. I love everybody. Shout out to you guys, man. Shout out. Shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to Joey Gibbs. What's good? Bird, what's going on? What's up? I got to get started. Hey, I love you, man. I got to get started, y'all. Okay. We got more than 50 people here today, so it's hard to keep up with all you guys. Shout out to Landon. Thanks for the vibes, man. Big love, man. Hey, you're always welcome, man. I try to be a vibe sometimes. Shout out to Chris Toller. What's good, man? Thank you for that cash at G. I appreciate that. Big love on the homie. Love that. Let's get started, y'all. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes. No. Maybe. Do you love the Carolina Panthers? Do you are you black and brew to your through? <laughs> if you're black and brew to your through, put your paws up. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump in that cash app. Let's get it, man. All right, man. Breaking news here, man. Per Tom Pizarro, the Carolina Panthers have hired offensive coordinator Thomas Brown from the L.A. Rams, which he was a tight end slash running backs coach there, and assistant coach as well. Um, I must say this right here, man. This guy wasn't on my uh, radar. He was a tight ends coach slash uh, slash head coach, assistant head coach with the LA. He wasn't written necessarily on my radar. Now he is a former Georgia Bulldog, 
So I got love for the nigga. I always got love for homegrown. But uh, I'm mixed on this, y'all. I'm mixed on this one. Uh, I'm mixed on this, y'all. I say every move up until now has been a surefire home run move. But I has my reservation. No, 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 no. Big Cat ain't switching on you. I ain't switching. Just keeping it a buck here. I mean, just, you know, if I had to attest to one of my things I like about him is he's coming from a good coaching tree, Sean McVay. I, I would like to believe there's no way you can sit up on the Sean McVay's wing and not know shit. You see what I'm saying? So that makes me feel a little reserved. You know what I mean? I mean, that makes me feel like a little confident. Okay, you sitting on Martin McVay, so you... you Hopefully, nigga had a pen and paper out when the white man was talking, but, you know, I don't know. But I'm thinking this might be all right, but I have my reservation. Let's take a look at his resume here before we get started. Stay right there. If you don't know, man, he's a former Georgia Bulldog All-SEC. Um, when he played, had a 875 yard, eight touchdown. He played with uh, Craig Lumpkin, Danny Ware, uh, and I think it was him. Yeah, the boy was, the boy was nice in college with Georgia Bulldogs there. As an NFL player, he played with the Falcons and the Cleveland Browns. Uh, again, in 2011, he came back to Athens, was a strength and conditioning cho- coach. 2012, he was a running backs coach for University of Chattanooga. 2013, running backs coach for Marshall. 2014, I didn't know this, he was a running backs coach for uh, Wisconsin. 2015, came back to University of Georgia, was a running backs coach for Georgia. In 2016, 2018, he was an offensive coordinator Slash running backs coaching. If you don't know what happened in 2016 to 2018, that's when Mark Rick went down to University of Miami. That's where Mike, my Mark Rick is from. So that's where he went, and he brought him on as offensive coordinator. And I want to stay right there. Because in 2019, he was the running backs coach for the, the Gamecocks. But I want to stay right here. I want to focus on 2016 2018. This is his only real experience at being an offensive coordinator. Now, forgive me. I love the dude, bro. Georgia Bulldog. Ran hard, loved some of his plays he made, and shit like that. But his only legit experience as an offensive coordinator was 2016 to 2018. Now, I don't know about you. Now, let's just stay there. We had a passing game coordinator by the name of, uh, what's his name? Oh, that's right, Joe Brady. Joe Brady didn't have no experience. Was a passing game coordinator. He led Joe Burrow and them boys to a national championship run. He wasn't an OC there, but you know a lot of people gave him credit like he was the OC because Joe Burrow passed the ball. He was a passing game coordinator, and it didn't work out here. Now, I understand that uh, Joe Burrow went to, not Joe Burrow, but Joe Brady went to Buffalo. Looks like uh, 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 Josh Allen turned out fine here. That's where my reservation come in. Doesn't necessarily have experience at this level. Now, a lot of people gain experience from sitting up under somebody with it. So, even though you're not the man, he wasn't the man in L.A., doesn't mean that he couldn't learn from the man. You know what I mean? So, and I'm pretty sure he had to get he had to get a cosign. You know what I mean? A lot of people screaming, "Blacks don't get opportunities." Blacks don't get opportunity. But I'm willing to bet I'll put down a hundred dollars that Sean McVay gave him a cosign, and that cosign means more to this coaching staff than any other experience that he has on his. Not to diminish his his, his experience, but that cosign from McVay means ten times more than what you could have done in your own. Okay, just keeping it a buck here. So. If McVay went out here, which I like to believe here, and co-signed for him, then I'm okay with it. Now, let's take a look at what he did when he was with the Miami Hurricanes in 2016. That offense averaged 34.3 points per game. All right. They had a total of, stay right there, on the ground. Let me pull up here. Stay right here. Stay right there. They averaged 4.5 yards per, per carry on the ground, or per attempt on the ground. For a total of 151 yards per game. All right, 151 yards per game is what they average on the run game. And for total offense during that 2016 season, they averaged 425 yards a game. Okay, not bad, not bad. 2017, now mind you, he was from 2016 to 2018. Let's see what he did in 2017. Is right there? He dropped down to 29 points a game. He averaged 242 yards passing in the game as the offensive coordinator. Total offense still 400 yards. And this time he went from 4.5 yards a carry to four, 5 yards even a carry per game. All right? For a total of 160 yards per game. So, again, attempts went up. Yards per game went up. 
Uh, only thing went down was scoring in the last season, 2018. Let's take a look at 2018 on offense. Points went down again to 28 points per game. Passing the average, 167 uh, uh, passing attempt, passing yard per game. He went up again, 5.2 yards rushing per game, totaling 191 yards per game, 25 touchdowns on the ground. The offense did come back down to 358 yards. So, again, rushing attempts went up, rushing yards went up, uh, total offense went down. All right, so, look, man, um, I don't know, man. I, 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 don't know, I don't know how this is going to work in the NFL. I'm just going to be honest with you here, man. And I could be biased and say, oh, he's a Georgia Bulldog. He's going to do everything right. Now, listen, when he moved on from the University of Florida, he went to South Carolina as the running back's coach. Then he became the Rams coach, running back coach in 2020. 2021, he was the running back slash assistant head coach. 2022, he moved on to the tight end slash assistant head coach. And now here he is with the Carolina Panthers, man. Uh, hey, man, look. From his little time that I've seen at the University of Miami, and again, Mark Rick was, you know, the head coach there. I think that 2016 year, those guys were in the top 25. 2016, I think 2017, the University of Miami was top 25. And then look, the running yards and the running attempt have went up ever since ever since he got there, man. All right. Um, what does that look like for the Carolina Panthers? I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, little beside myself here because I thought Jim Bob Cooter was a lock. But when you look at his expertise, which is running back, he's a running back. He's a former running back, and he knows how to coach running backs here. I don't know, are we going to a heavy run style offense? You know what I mean? Now, I, did, I do understand that Frank Wright made a great point in his press conference about running the ball is essential, but we also got to stretch the ball down the field, yada, yada, yada. I don't understand why do you put a running back's coach as your offensive coordinator. And not only is a running back's coach, a guy with only three years of college experience of coaching offense as a coordinator. All these other motherfuckers out here, you got a, you got a running back coach <laughs> with three years of college experience, tight end experience in the, in, in the NFL as your coordinator. I don't like that. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Uh, go dogs, man. You know what I mean? Georgia Bulldogs here, but... This could be the, the the chink in the arm. This could finally be the chink in the arm of this offense. I don't like it. I don't like it here. Unless we're getting ready, maybe maybe we're getting ready to do some kind of RPO shit. Maybe we're getting ready to do a bunch of this right here. If we're if we're doing a bunch of read options, I don't like that. Ah, Jesus. Ah, is that what y'all about to do, Carolina? See that Jalen Hurts shit. I think. Jalen Hart, Jalen Hurts kind of showed niggas blueprint on how to use a guy like him. You know what I mean? Put a fire ass defense. We're gonna build a fire ass defense, and we're gonna have a lot of guys that can touch that ball out of that. You know what I mean? Fucking uh, hand it off, keep it running. Ah, I don't like that shit, man. It's like that college stats. <laughs> you know? Oh, man, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. I, I, but I'm starting to see what they're trying to do. I see what they're trying to do now, man. I don't like it, man. Read option and all that shit. Jalen Hurts, again, it, it, work, it can work. It can work. Hurts ended up making it to the Super Bowl off of it. I mean, I think we're going to have multiple running backs back there. You know what I mean? But I just don't like the whole fact that you're building your scheme around a running quarterback. You see what happened to Lamar Jackson the last two seasons. He hasn't finished it. You see what happened to Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts got hurt. Jalen Hurts got hurt early in the season, man. I just don't fucking like it. Stay right there. Stay right there, y'all. Yo, who's this? What's up, oh, big cat? This is Laquan Jones, man. Right, stay right there. Stay right there for me, G. All right. I just don't like it, man. I don't like our offense being based around running shit. We need to get a superior quarterback like Levis or somebody that can sit there and scan the field with the big mechanics, protect his ass, and, and you know what I mean? I don't like it. I don't like this move. I don't like it. I would have rather have Frank Wright and, and, and Jim Caldwell call plays. Let Jim Caldwell and Frank Wright put that shit together. You know, I think those guys are smart enough to. <sighs> Fuck, man. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't like this move. I don't, man. And it's not even about the RPO shit because that can't work. 
I mean, it's, that's partially why, why I feel. Let me let me re, let me retract that statement. It's partially why I feel that way, but the other part is the nigga don't have any experience at this level. The nigga ain't got no experience at this level. Sean McVay's brain is Sean McVay's brain. Sean McVay, <laughs> trust me, Sean McVay has seen it all. That guy has been a guru since college. I mean, the motherfucker Sean McVay knows what he's doing. Just because you coached up under him. Don't mean you're gonna be able to re-enter. You can't. Y'all wonder why Eric Benemy still haven't got a head coaching job? Have you guys ever wonder why Eric Benemy hasn't got a head coaching job? Because everybody knows that motherfucking Andy Reid is calling them plays. Everybody knows Andy Reid is calling them plays. Andy Reid is the damn genius. So my point given is you can put a nigga up under a genius. Don't necessarily mean it's gonna. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're doing here. Ah, fuck, man. Let me stop. Let me stop. Acting like a bitch. Ah! Okay. Mm, get a hold of yourself, nigga. Okay, I will. Good move here. Um, I think we're going to be all right. I'm going to wait uh, to reserve judgment to see what's going on. Okay? Phone lines open. Call in 678-882-4692. Let, let's see what's going on here. Okay? All right. Yo, who we got online? Laquan Jones. Hey, what's up, big cat, man? Hey, man, you know, I was just looking at everything, man, doing the research just like everybody else, man. And I think, you know, based off of Frank Wright's uh, press pity uh, offensive thing, I think that Frank Wright hired Thomas Brown and to have him work with Deuce Staley hand-in-hand hand to work on the running game solely while he just focuses on development of the quarterback along with just the passing game itself. I think it was just a hire just to get somebody in there, you know what I'm saying, that strength was a running back so frank can so you know just focus on getting the stretching the field getting the ball down the field it's a it's, it's going to be an offensive by committee thing you know what i'm saying i don't think it's solely a rock star uh offensive coordinator because you got every other position with experience so it's a collective thing that's how they're going to attack it and i think that's the best thing to do well why not bring him on hey, like I, as assistant running backs coach i don't need you to be my offensive coordinator to be an understudy i mean what the what, what's that i mean about? it's just a title though it's a title because the reason why I say that you have Frank Wright's mindset of where he came from with his system. You have Jim Caldwell whenever he was in Detroit, regardless of the reason why he got wrongfully fired, this man was winning in Detroit. Then you bring a assistant head coach underneath Sean McVay that does not have to sit here and call plays, just bring over schemes. Sean McVay's schemes work. You already know we're going to have a tight end where you're going to have a tight end, you're going to need a speedy slot receiver. And then if you look at uh, Frank Wright's scheme, you're going to need running back by committee, or you're going to be run heavy. So it's just based off a of scheme and implementing different coaching styles or different plays all together. You have youth, and now you have experience on this coaching staff, both sides of the ball. Shout out to my nigga Illmatic for that cash app. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, G. Shout out to my nigga Michael Banks. Today's a great day to be a Panther. Facts. Every day's a great day to be a Panther. Big love. Yes, sir. Shout out to my nigga Illmatic for that cash app. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, that's the other guy that's on the phone. <clears throat> now, hey, Big guy, let me do this before I jump ahead. into it. It's over three. Let me see how much. It's over 386 in the chat, man. Y'all go ahead and step on that like button. Y'all head over to what's up, Doug. I will be doing a jersey giveaway. Once I hit a certain number on what's up, Doug, again, I will be giving a jersey giveaway. Then once we hit 500, I will be giving away two $100 cash apps to any subscriber that joins the live when we do our giveaway. Again, head over to what's up, Doug. I'll be giving a jersey giveaway, and I'll be giving two $100 cash app giveaways to subscribers. Details will be released soon. Let's get back to this goddamn Panther right here, bro. What do you think we're going to do in the draft now? And I mean, with this whole uh, <laughs> Thomas Brown situation, bro. Hey, I'm I'm going uh, to see what you're going to say. You still want Will Levis? I do want Levis. I, I listen, <laughs> okay, let me clear this up because a lot of you guys been a lot of you guys been coming at me hard on Twitter. I love you guys, by the way. First of all, don't ever take it personal. But uh, I won't be mad if we got CJ Scroud. I'm not going to be mad about that. But my personal choice is Levis. I like his mechanics. And y'all got to understand that he played in the SEC. This ain't the ACC 
where everybody gets a trophy. You know, the ACC, you know what I mean? This ain't the Big 12 where you can, you know, nobody plays defense. This is the SCC. You don't win unless you got an elite core around you. And, you know, unfortunately, outside of Rodriguez, the running back from uh, Kentucky, you know what I mean? He just didn't have it. So a lot of times, Wet Levis, you know, had to force stuff or stuff like that. But I honestly believe mechanically wise, he's great here. But with this latest signing here, with this latest signing of uh, uh, Thomas Brown at OC, I don't think we're going to get Levis, man. I really think we're going to get that running back from Florida. What's his name? <laughs> you mean quarterback Anthony Richardson? No, 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 sir. I said it right. <laughs> running back from Florida with the dreadlocks. What's his name? Anthony Richardson. Yeah, I think we're going to get that running back to run our offense, and I hate it, man, because I think we're better. I'm I'm sick of that. You know, I, I, I understand what's going on here. I understand what's going on here. You know what I mean? You know, and it's not a surprise, bro. Frank Wright has ties to Philadelphia and how they ran their system. So, obviously, they're going to mimic what he did with Philadelphia and the whole RPO. And I don't like that shit, bro. Please, for the love of God, why can't we just get a damn quarterback that can stand in the pocket, read the field accurately, and make some goddamn throws? We got to do all this trickery and all that. You know, listen, man. I'm sick of that. Because what comes with that is injuries. At some point... Your ass is going to be out there on an the RPO keeper and someone's going to clean your head off. You see what I'm saying? So I don't like that. I, I don't, you know, I don't like that, man. Just my personal opinion. I don't like it. I don't like this hire. I don't like the hire, man. I don't, I don't like the hire. I don't know, you know. Right. I already know you You want you want a cooter, the man that be running through random people's windows and shit. That's what you wanted? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, by the way, we got a, we got a side bet. Uh, Car uh, not Carson Wentz, but... uh. Jalen Ramsey will be coming to the Panthers here. I said that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and tell them what the bet is. Stay right there. Shout out to J.R. Rosenberg. It will work out, bro. Big love, big love. Okay, you're right. I'm going to start acting like a hoe. I've been hoeing out. Shout out to my nigga Fade. Uh, you think the quarterbacks in 2023 draft are better than 2024? Too far ahead, brother. I haven't looked that far ahead, though. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not saying that it's not going to work out. Y'all, I want y'all to keep that same energy. When this nigga get out Fox, we already seen that. Listen, this only, he only has three years of OC experience, and all three years have been in college. Why? Why would you? Why would you bring in somebody? Why would you bring in this solidified veteran staff, and then dump a big? I'm not gonna say that. You're gonna dump this guy in here with no fucking experience <laughs> at this level, and tell him, "All right, run my offense." I I don't like it. I don't like this move. I don't. I don't like this move, brother. I don't. I don't. It's just my opinion. I don't. I don't like the move. Why you don't like the move, man? The nigga has no experience. Are you done? At What's up, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, I've been at the dinner house since 4 o'clock. Yeah, man. I done ate good, drunk good. I, big cat. I don't like it neither, but yeah, yeah man. What, what, what job is he really here to do? Honestly. Yeah, man. What job is he really here to do? To me, this this was a, this, this was an impulse hire. Either somebody they wanted didn't 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 uh somebody they wanted didn't want us. Yeah, I don't know. They just feel like it was a rush job here, man. I mean, I don't know, man. Let me yeah, let me, let me yeah, ask you yeah, this. Yeah. Right there, let me ask you this. How many how many head coaches caught it caught a caught a uh, offense? Does anybody know how many how many co how many coaches caught uh, their own offense in the NFL? Uh, big Cat is, is, yeah, one. if any, there's, the there's very few. Just one. The playoff just teams, one. the head coach ran, called the offense. Sirian, or, um, yeah, Sirianni calls the oh. offense. Andy Reid calls the offense. Doug Peterson calls the offense. McVay, Shanahan, they all call the offense. It's three. I got three that, I, that I'm that i actually looking up right now. It's three that actually call it. No, there it's it, it's much more than three. But the, the 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 thing with it is though is we're talking about an offensive coordinator hire. How many um, newly hired offensive coordinators have experience calling plays? None, right? Because they replace offensive coordinators who get head head coaching positions elsewhere, um, or they get hired on as as offensive coordinators as a promotion. Um, in the NFL. Um, so I, I understand that you would want someone with experience, but that's just not how hiring an offensive coordinator works. Uh, who is this? No experienced coordinator out there. Uh, who is this? <laughs> this is, 
this is Ian <laughs> Ruther. This is that's how offensive. That's how you hire offensive coordinators. But how, how do you hire your offensive coordinators? How how do you hire your offensive coordinators? Either through internal promotion because your offensive coordinator leaves for a head coaching position, or you hire a quarterbacks coach or a tight ends coach or an assistant head coach from another team to be your offensive coordinator. Right. So right. Brian they, they, Johnson, they get the guy. That, though. Caller, you have to request that, and they can block it. Do you think we got blocked? Because there was an office of coordinator. Being on's bed is off now. Brian Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that got. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian Johnson wasn't the offensive coordinator. Yes, I mean no. I'm saying he was a quarterbacks coach. He is the offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles now. But I'm saying he was supposed to be our offensive coordinator before Stinson got the head coaching job at Indy. For sure, but he he didn't have any experience being an offensive coordinator either. So if yes if he did, you're... yes he did, no. caller. Yes he did. No, he was he the didn't. OC at Florida. Okay. Oh, all right. He, he didn't have NFL experience being an offensive coordinator. Okay. Thomas Brown has offensive coordinator experience in college too. We're talking about okay. the NFL. You typically, if a offensive coordinator is good at their job and they have experience as an offensive coordinator, they get hired as a head coach. They don't get hired as another offensive coordinator because you can block that. You can block but ain't that, that what Eric B. and me doing right now? And, 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 and watch it. Now, I'm hearing that. He wants an offensive coordinator. That's what he yeah. doing. He got the that job. Is a very the coordinator situation. job, she does. That is a yeah, very unique situation. That is not the norm. Jeez, Pete. What up, Leo? Leo, 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 Leo. What's up, nigga? Man, you got it, brother. Y'all doing all right? How yeah, I'm feeling good, good man. Leo? Feeling good. Man, good to hear, brother. Yeah, I'm like Big Cat. I don't, I don't really like to hire because I don't understand it. But if I'm looking Ooh. at it from the football aspect, Big Cat, they like you said, they finna adopt a RPO scheme and. You know what I mean? And that's what that's I mean, Frank Wright, Frank White already alluded to it. He ain't mean he want a quarterback they can run and throw. That's our RPO. But I'm telling yeah, you, you yeah, you're setting yourself up White, failure. You're hey, yourself but up did y'all failure. see that shit about your boy Vic Fangino? Fangino. Vic, say, you know, saying he that, that he done developed a motherfucking brand new coverage and he can't wait to display it on the NFL. You you y'all seen this article yet? Man, you better have the players for that. You can have all yeah, the no, that's, that's what he said he went to Miami because they got the players that, that that's gonna help him. Uh he, he's developed a new scheme. He said he put it together when he stepped away from coaching. Had he put a, it together yeah, on man. Had to put the scheme together. I mean, this shit is funny to me. You know what Put I mean? Together on John Madden on Madden twenty three. Yeah, say he got a new scheme, guys, that the NFL has not yet seen. You know what I mean? A new coverage scheme. Man, quarterback, yeah, it hurt. Quarterback, yeah, yeah, yeah it's out there. Look it up. Just look it up. Look it Check up. It uh, Fangio and his new scheme, new coverage scheme. A whole fucking, whole fucking shenanigan about this shit. See, Dougie. Stay right there. Stay look right here, right there. man. Let me ask you, Leo. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, from, from the little I do know about Thomas Brown, if you go back and look at the 2016-2018 Miami Hurricanes offense, that's when they had a... Why, why are you worried about the offensive coordinator hold position on, hey, in Miami? Hold, on, let me hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Because this is his experience. What else experience does he have calling the offensive coordinator position? Well, well, be careful. Let me tighten them up. But, 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 but that's not that's not what why color, you're bringing what him what in color is this as dude? an offensive coordinator. What color is this dude? Wright is going to be calling the plays. Go ahead, Leo. No, this is yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Wright is going to be calling the plays. But, but he's he hired this. He hired this. He hired this. He Because he has the nigga got a he got an all black coach. No, he hold on, hold on. I got all black coach. So, 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 yeah, you got a black so, OC. Yeah, I, 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 I just want to see this. I'm saying, see David Tepper 
I told you to, to the white <laughs> liberal man. That, that, that's what you get, Mr. White Liberal. See, you, you, you're trying to pee. It's called pandering. I'm going to give you all y'all want. I can't because I, cause I got a lawsuit again. It's sad, man. It's really sad. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't, you can't hire who you want to hire. Going on. This is how offensive You can't. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, this is a, you do know plenty. Jim Bob Cuda was still out there. There are plenty of offensive coordinators you can get. There are plenty of offensive coordinators. I can't hear you, C. Dougie. What you say? Because he's an NFL coordinator. This dude, come on. Leo, Leo, hold on real quick. Yeah, Jim Bob Cuda going to Indianapolis, huh? Yeah, but he won't be looking team. like you know, and that's the dumb shit. That's the but dumb the, uh, shit. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry about it. The owner woke. <laughs> his old lady tell him what to do. What's yeah, you know the so NAACP. Is, yes, sir, bro. Go ahead, bro. It's sad. It's sad. So, so, so you saying that? But out of all the hires, this is the one hire that everybody has skeptic or. Or, you know, yeah, play. yeah, yeah, a little C. Dougie, C. Dougie, you can't, C. Dougie, C. Dougie, it's obvious, C. Dougie, C. Dougie, I understand, I understand you're a person of color, and you <laughs> like to see people of color do well, but C. Dougie, this is, C. Dougie, this is utter bullshit, this is utter, this is, C. Dougie, you know what I understand, like I say, I understand you are a person of color and it looks good. But see, Doug, this is a this this is this is not a good thing. Pete Buttigieg, the the, 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 the secretary, that's all I'm talking about. Hold 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 tight, call hold tight, call hold tight, hold tight, caller. Do you know? Do you know that right now they have a they have a shortage of pilots in America right now. They have a shortage of pilots. They are hiring pilots left and right off the fucking street. They are lowering the qualifications. Y'all know that, right? They lowering the qualifications. Hold on, look up real quick, bro. Hold on, because when you look, but you hold up. Let's get Leo out of here for three hundred dollars. We're gonna ban him till uh, we'll ban him till March first. Ban him till March first. Three hundred dollars. Qualifications just because of motherfucker skin color, you're gonna get a poor result. It's not based on merit. It's based on wokeism and bullshit. So when you so when you do this. You're going to get a poor product. You're going to, what I'm talking about, so you got, you got, you got to, you, you don't sound like a person of color. I understand. You don't sound like a person of color, but you got to understand. I am, and I take insult to when they hire people just on the skin color because They're it's not, not hiring it, him because of his skin color. They're no, hiring it, it, him because he has familiarity with McVeigh's system and the concepts. So, so, so what did, so what did, so what did, what did, concepts okay, into see. his playbook? Well, stay right there, caller. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Who was the right? Call it, call it, call it. Let me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Miami. Call it, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. <clears throat> I got a familiarity with fucking eating at McDonald's. Does that mean that I can make <laughs> Hey, the call on y'all ass, boy. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. He just a panda or two. Hold on, Leo, Leo, don't do that. Big just <laughs> ask your goddamn question while it's quiet. No, he, he, he you, you, it, you say this guy came from, from, from UM? That's where he came from. No, he came, he came from the Rams. He came from, okay, right, right hand man in the Rams. Well, sir, I okay. what, I, what I'm trying to say, my point is, the reason why I keep going back to UM is because that's his only experience at this position. How do you take and a fucking right, experience? He's not going to be calling plays. So why hire him that? at OC? So what's the use? Why, what's the why, use why hire the him? Coordinators are developing okay, this okay, league. well, stay right there, stay right there. Then why hire him if he's nothing more than a prop figure? Why? Well, I because knew he was going to be holding why? the clipboard already, whoever. Hello, answer the question, brother. Why hide a nigga for a job that he's not going to be able to do anyway if he's the prop figure? God damn it. <laughs> That's it, Big Cat. He's not here. He's not here to call plays. He's not here yeah. to put together a two-minute scheme. He's not here for fourth-quarter situations. Yeah. No. He's, not there. he's yeah. here to hold it fucking clipboard. Listen, by definition, the shout out to the right shout out to the all black coaches staff. And so that he can just <laughs> just just go on what the offensive coordinator is supposed to set the game scheme. But Shout out to Lamar Frazier. He got three dollars on. Let's get Leo the fuck out of here, y'all. We down to two ninety seven to get Leo out of here. Two ninety seven. The plays, but they, but there are plenty of. Call the plays. 
Thomas Brown comes from a Super Bowl winning L.A. Rams yeah, Sean McVay go. offense. Oh, damn. He won, he won, he he won, he won a Super Bowl. Hold on, y'all. God damn it. Hold on. Shit. Say it. Say it. Say it, say it see, Dougie. You got 21 Super Bowl. God damn it. Dougie. You black yeah, ass nigga, yeah. you. There it is. There it is. Andrew, Andrew, what'd you say, Andrew? <laughs> I said he comes from a Sean McVay coaching tree and right, he won a Super Bowl. Start there. there, start there, start there, Andrew, start, he, Andrew, start, he, there, start he, there, Andrew, Andrew. Let me ask you a question he, directly. This goes for you yeah. and you only. So you gonna guarantee me, guarantee me, guarantee me that he's gonna come in here. Yeah. He's gonna run his you're office. Guaranteeing that. Guarantee, guarantee he's gonna run the office like Sean McVay. Guarantee me. Go win it. Uh, go win Super Bowl. But they're, the same, they're the same office no, last year. But no, what I, I guarantee, what I'm guaranteeing you is. Is he's come from a successful offensive okay. team, had a good scheme. Andrew, was it successful last year when they didn't make the playoffs? What's that? Was it successful last year? Oh, well, well, you know, hey, Leo, listen, hold on, Leo, you say the, that. The Rams, have lost, the Rams lost you got to have a probably 25% right? of their team last year for due to injuries. They lost Cooper okay, Cup. They lost, uh, can, we, uh, huh? can we separate the production of a team that had all of their players injured? from the actual scheme uh because that that's important there well let's not be obtuse right like like we're down to 297 to block leo for the uh till march 297 are there other coordinators from the big bay tree are there other coordinators out there are there others that they could have got plenty plenty i know there are plenty of plenty of them plenty of them plenty of them i'm not plenty. sure who hired them they got the guy that uh, was their offensive coordinator when they won the Super Bowl, he just took another job. Could we not have got him before? He's at yeah. He's at Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Big game. You so see anyway, that? He, he, this is not a big deal. Frank Rock said he's going to be said before you. Shout out to Ricky Gaz. Let's get Leo the fuck out of here. Shout out to. You can get me. You, you can get me out of here all you want. But I'm going to tell you what. I told y'all about that from the back and shit. Affirmative action for that cash. Affirmative action will get you nothing. But mediocrity. You can have all the brown skin motherfuckers you want. No, 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 no. It's, it's all affirmative action. It's all affirmative action. He's hired because he has the. He has worked with McVeigh and knows the schemes and concepts, and Reich wants to add that into the offense. Reich is going to be calling the plays. I, I hear what you're saying, sir. I hear what you're saying. familiar with the offense. No. We are down to 217 to get Leo out of here till March. Down, down, down to 217. Shout out to Bryson Let Leo have a lot of arguments of logical fallacies. No I don't. Yeah, the road to hell. It makes no oh. sense. You want to know why, Leo? Because you got all this fucking experience, but dude, dude, look. Like C. Dougie say, it's twenty what twenty to twenty one total to, uh, down, Super Bowl. Yeah, total Super Bowl. Goddamn wins, uh, winnings between the uh, head coaches on winning the staff. Winning and appearances. Man. Winning and appearances. Sir, wins and appearances. Shout out. Shout out to Jaquan Lyons. How do you feel, Big Cat? I'm all right with this move. I'm just a little skeptical here. I'm not gonna say it's a bad move, but I'm skeptical. Down to 217, the band Leo. There he is, Leo. I'm just talking about experience and oh, call, okay. bro. Oh, oh, you, you're right. Oh, but that, that, that don't mean the hill of damn things, man. Because if you ain't got the fucking well, pitch, we ain't got no okay. quarterback. Okay, we ain't got Leo. no quarterback. Okay, okay, then, Leo. Stay stay right there. Say say you drive a Cadillac, right? Say you drive a Cadillac. So, and it's a mechanic in the city been fixing Cadillacs for the last 30 years. And getting great reviews. But you got a homeboy say, bring me your goddamn Cadillac, nigga, I'll fix it for you. But he charging you the same price that damn 30-year vet go charge you. Where are you taking your caddy, man? Uncle, I hear what you say. I'm going to the veteran, but think about it. Um, we don't have it. We don't have a quarterback. We don't. We, we putting pieces but, together. But, 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 you're talking you know, about it. You, you're talking about But the thing. And also, let me just say this, guys. It's, it's bullshit because all the motherfuckers they hiring outside of the linebacker coaches is black. So don't give me that. Don't give me yeah, no pandering yeah, black, shit, man. Black, don't, black, do black, 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 black. don't do that to me, man. Don't do that to me. Hold on, hold on, Leo, Leo, Leo. Can we break this down? I'm rolling up some. Hold on, I'm rolling up some. Leo, outside Leo, of the linebackers Leo, Leo, coach. Leo, listen to me, Leo. Listen to me. So our head coach is white. Afghan gorilla. Caldwell, that's black. Capers. Then you got. The defensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator, the running back coach, 
those defensive the coordinator, the running back coach, and 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 and, and Caldwell, they just giving niggas positions. Look, hold on, Leo. It's only four black coaches though. And, and, See, and Dougie. who was hired that's not qualified to be a coach? Man, I don't want it. It's insulting to me. I don't want it. No, I don't no, no, fucking no, want no, it, man. No, 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 I don't no, no. want it. Race, I don't race, want it. Race aside. Race aside. Who was hired that's not qualified to be in that position? Right? Because because you're saying that they're hired that they were hired because they're pandering. Who was hired because they're not qualified to be in that position? I'm gonna hold you to I'm gonna hold you. Do it. What's your name? Yeah, so, so the dude that's coming from, from, from the Rams, what position did he hold before he came to the Rams? He was a tight ends coach and a running backs coach. And was that, is, that, is, that, is that an offensive? Is, 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 that a, is that a play caller? He was the assi- No play caller is. That's good. where Eric the enemy came from. It's the same qualifications when he took his first offensive coordinator job. Hey and y'all, I'm was, telling you, was, I, I hear what y'all the saying. Head coach. I don't the want race. it. I don't want it. I hear what you're saying, sir, and I respect your opinion. I shout out to Ricky, this you, bro. Yeah, this is me, bro. Shout out to George T as well. Let me get you on the line. I'm right. Got to work out good, but I know the owner. I know his ability and disingenuous to a. a to appease to the players to even entertain it, I don't want it. I do not want it because it insults to me as a so-called person of color living in America. I don't want the pandering because Leo, it's Leo, Leo, you, 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 you trying to sound thing. intelligent. You're Go an ahead. intelligent fool. You are an intelligent fool. Who? You, you I, I, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Here's the you hold on, wait, thing, wait, okay. wait, wait. Let me let me say this. You always preach about educating a black man, right? Right, but when it's a quali- when it's a qualified black man or black man on the rise, you have a problem with it. I'm sick of your shit. Let me tell you why I'm sick of your shit, real quick. Because Lady you know, Ray, Ricky, on oh, your way. Wait, wait, this what you do, Leo. Hey, Unc, what's good? I'm this gas man. I, I I just got a couple words for Leo, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm you know what I mean I'm gonna sit here. I ain't gonna run. This my problem. You are basically saying you said the, the running back coach, you said the defensive coordinator, you said the offensive coordinator. You have a problem with them because they're black. That shit is terrible. You 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 use a big words and 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 intelligent merit. Wait wait wait. Use intelligent merit and your your points sound valid, but anybody with a brain can see that you have a bias against black coaches in NFL and black quarterbacks. Just say that. That's more realistic than you just trying to sound all make up all these smart words and all these good phrases. Fuck all that, motherfucker. You sound crazy. I ain't worried about it. You're not on my level, sir. So I hear what you're no, saying. No, 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 no. I, I am on your level, Leo. Listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm 20 years younger than you. I promise you, I make six figures. So I am on your level. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't. Nah, do nah, nah. See, you, you coming up with money. You coming up with money. Like, man, man, you like, man. Let me, let me just say, 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 let me 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 but you try to twist it, and you get mad, and then you try to use logic for the white man. But when it comes to the black man, so you want, want me to prove it to you? Want me to prove that you? Want me to prove to you that you're insecure and you're not confident? Nothing you no, say. No, want me to prove it to you? No, 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 no. Want me to prove it to you? No, no, no. Want me to prove it to you? No, no, no. If you don't want me to prove it to you, I let you continue to talk. But if you want me to prove it to you, I can prove it to you real quick. No, no, no. It ain't gonna take, it ain't gonna take, but it ain't gonna take but ten seconds. No, 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 no. You okay? You want me to prove it to you though? You don't want me to prove it to you. No, you have to listen. Can I prove it to you real quick? You just want to respond. Listen no, I'm about, I'm about to give you the answer. I'm about to give you the answer, sir. I'm about to prove to you that you're insecure, you're not confident, nothing you say real quick. Who it, it ain't going to take but five confident. seconds. Leo? I'm about, Leo? Can I prove it to you? Can, Leo? I, can Leo? I prove it to you real Leo? quick? I'm 20 years ahead of you, nigga. Stop. Can, uh, stop. $217 to brand Leo to the 1st of March. 217 Everybody in the chat send in a dollar. Everybody in the chat send in a dollar. We can get them banned till March. Insecurity, not confident, because we're not talking no, about no, none no, of that. No, no, the, the, that that's, the that's true, the sir. No, the that's mere true. fact that's that true. you got to tell niggas that's online that's that you want to get some pussy in Baltimore is that's to true. tell me who you are. That's true. 
That's proof. You just told me. That's proof. The other night. That's, that's proof. proof. Who's going to Maryland against the pussy, you bitch? Oh, too shady. Nah, 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 man. Nah, nah, man. Too man. He, come on, there. Wow, Leo, he shot your ass. Hey, bro, he ain't got no control. He ain't got no control over his emotions. He ain't got no control over his emotions. Hey, um. Hey, um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, when we grew up, um, I swear I love you, um. When we grew up, you... You you gave the scenarios of how you got pussy, but you ain't never. I'm about to go to Baltimore and get some pussy. You ain't you ain't coming like that. Nah, what hell nah, about, man. Hey, man like you know that this man is a shrimp. He's a shrimp. Man. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, I got more for you. Listen, listen, but, hold on. Shut up and listen. Shut up and listen. You see, I thought it was shut up and listen. Born in Nork. Hold on, wait. Oh, Lord, I was, man. I was, I was born in Nork, bro. I was born Who in Who cares? Who cares? It's trash. Yeah, Nork is fucking finish. trash. You claiming that shit? That shit is fucking trash, man. You claiming that shit? That shit is fucking trash. I ain't claiming no fucking dirty you, ass Nork. I got you all I want you, nigga. Because you, now you insecure. Now somebody... Man, I'm saying nobody I'm insecure. Saying. Okay, go ahead. But look at Hold on. Hold on, hold on real quick. Let me just say something Big Cat. We're going to go Big Cat. I don't want it, Big Cat. I don't want it. It's insulting to me. I hear what they're saying. I hear, I hear, I hear what the gentleman's saying about the officer coordinator position and the grooming and all this and that. But my point is that I don't like pandering. It's insulting to me. I, the owner has already proven that he entertains it by bringing on Wilkes. The owner is, entertains it by letting Shaheen Quick and everybody else bully him in the position where he got to defend Leo, himself the 40, and explain. The 40, oh, bro, 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 I'm talking to Big Cat. Big Cat, I'm talking to Big I'm talking to Big Cat real quick. Sir, I ain't got to do the same Sir, sir, I got a minute left. I'm talking to Big Cat. Right, right. Excuse me a second, please. Big Cat, I don't like it. I mean, I hear what everybody's saying. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's insulting to me. That's just my position on That's the way I look at it. You won't, you, you. Uh, you you won't this this won't be the end of it. This won't be the end of it because the more you the more you pander to the mob, the mob will never stop. So the Carolina Pan set himself up for failure. I knew David Tepper was doing it. It's not gonna be the end of it. They're gonna want more they're gonna want more nigga shit. They're gonna want more brown skin people on the sidelines. You don't listen to the players. You coach, you own the team as a man. You don't listen to, you don't let the inmates run this asylum. It's just more evidence of that that the owner is letting the inmates run this asylum. Because so, I'm telling you, Frank Wright, I know he don't want to hire all the motherfucking niggas on the on the coach's staff. How you know but, that, Leo? Cause you racist? How you but, know that? But, you know shout out to Ill Matter. He said let's get Leo the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. Shout out to George T. Shout out to Joey Giss. We are down to 207 to get Leo banned till March. 207. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. I, I appreciate the commentary. Put that pressure on him, Big Cat, and he fold. No, 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 no. I'm, I got something to do. I'm listening, though. Go ahead. He's folding. He's folding. My only point is, is why hire a guy for OC who doesn't have any OC experience except college? Big Cat, because he's black. Big Cat, you know, we know it is. Big Cat. And I appreciate the conversation, Big Cat. But see, they don't want to accept it because they know it to be true, but they don't have no confidence in themselves. Do it on your own. Big, big, so you need a white man big, to help cat, you do everything. Cat, this, dude, this, dude is, this, this dude, he's very intelligent, Big Cat. I'm going to give Leo his credit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not that type of dude. I'm going to give Leo his credit. But Leo is very biased when it comes to black people. He's biased. And, it's, and it shows in this conversation. It's very biased. Nah, it's no, very one-sided. You, you're, you're not nah, giving no, and taking. You. You're not no, 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 You're not even trying to. I, 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 I'm a grown man. I don't live in compromise. Only time I compromise with the food you're, tank. You're a grown man. You're living compromise. Well, you know it's terrible. Hey, hey, hold on real quick. And y'all, and y'all argument, something hit me, and and what hit me is the fact that Leo fucking loves Anthony Richards. He fucking loves him. He stand on that nigga. He say this nigga going top five, top yeah, ten, yeah, dead yeah, or alive. Yeah, now. Yeah. And, and for 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 people to say Leo bias towards black quarterback is that now see and I'm only speaking from from my point of view. I, it's going on about three plus years. Shout out to God's child. He said, "Turn that call up, big cat." <laughs> I, I like to think I know I'm on a, on on maybe another level. So yes, sir. I just want y'all to know that when when you say he's biased towards black quarterbacks, make no mistake. This nigga like Anthony Richardson. Oh, I got it. I've been saying hey, okay, hey, Anthony Richardson hey, before hey, the hey, season hey, was hey, over. Can, 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 uh, let me tell you something real quick. Yeah, yeah. Leo literally, okay, so I'm, let me tell you one thing. I do agree with Leo when it comes to Cam was doing a little too much with the dancing. I agree with that. I, I'm not going to lie. I do agree with some, some things he say. 
But the fact that he said that Cam, he he wished that Cam didn't even win the Super Bowl, that's bias, huh? But I gave the context. But I, I gave the context. But if you missed it, then you missed it. Well, start no, right no, there. no, no, no. Start right there. Start I, right there. I agree with you. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I said, I, I, get, I, no, I gave context of why I said I didn't want him to win the Super Bowl. Oh, time, but gas, we ain't got gas, time gas, for that. Man, let me ask you a question, Gas Man. I'm going to ask you a serious question. I want you to I want you to answer reasonably, okay? It, did did uh, he get this job because of what he has done in the league or, or leading up until what he's done in the league? Or is it because who he was working for? It was because who he, who he was working for, one hundred percent. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If you go work at a five star restaurant, you all of a sudden, does that make you a five star chef because you work for him? No, but we got the Avengers as a coaching staff. We got Jim Caldwell. Can you guarantee cat. me that? Can you guarantee me that? You hit you, you, yeah. you hit a fan. You hit a fantasy six. You hit a fantasy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm down. No, 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 no. You see, you, you hit a Wakanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you hit a you hit a Wakanda yeah, come out. I heard that shit. Yeah, it's a dream team. You hit a Wakanda come out. Man, what? Well, I tell you, I tell you. I tell you, let's, black, 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 let's go off of that analogy. Black folk, black folk ain't smart, man. I'm telling black people not intelligent, man. They not intelligent, man. They not smart, man. It's that analogy. It's easy. You talking about fantasy shit, man. We talking about real stuff, man. You talking about Wakanda. No, 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 no. You talking about bullshit, man. Leo, shut up and let me talk. The real shit is that Jim Caldwell worked with Peyton Manning. The real shit is that it uh Evero easy E as C Dougie say it. He he had a top ten defense. That's facts. That's not that's not opinion or Wakanda. You bitch ass nigga. Yeah, now, yeah, let me yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah. Jim Caldwell. He was not this. Shout out to Walter Singer. I don't understand why Leo likes AR fifteen but hates Cam Newton. I'm not sure either. Well, nine, they, they, but, they, but, but, how many games they won this year, bro? That they was was they nine and eight. Nine and eight. Okay. They not eight. nine and seven. That's a fact, my nigga. These are facts. The the back. Our black coaches, <laughs> certain black coaches, they actually do their work. If you actually stop being so biased, Leo, that's the nah, problem no, I got you. with you, no, bro. Thank you. I, I, don't, don't, I don't want to take Now scratch. listen, now listen, now I'm listen. The Rams, Sean McVay is a decorated offensive coordinator, turned into head coach, and he's very, his 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 name holds cachet in the league. If Sean McVay signed off, then, then that's going to have some cachet. He went to Super Hey, 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 big cat. Hold, hold on one second, one second, brother. Hey, big cat, no. John, John Sean McVay, you know what you know you know why the you know why the coaching staff that they, they leave in Sean McVay, you know why? Sean, Sean McVay said he gave them permission because he wasn't he wasn't sure that he'd be on he'd be coaching next year for the Rams. So Leo, let me ask you oh, a yeah. question real quick, real quick, real quick. Do do, do you think that the any coaches that was on Sean McVay's staff, did, did they learn anything from Sean McVay? Anything? Sh Sean McVay, um Bill Belichick. Did, no, no, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm at, don't answer my question. A question. I'm asking you a question. Did they learn anything from Sean McVay? They probably have. They probably have. Yeah. That's two oh seven to ban Leo to March first. Two hundred and seven to give him to March first. Everybody send in a dollar. We can meet that quota within five minutes. They learned so, something from Sean McVay. They already have a lot of, of experience. The analogy, they, have, they already have a lot of experience in the room. A five star sense, hotel with a chef. And you're going to bring someone over from another five star, right? We're basically getting someone who studied under a specific pastry chef, uh, and we already know how to cook the boy. Uh, the, hey, uh, hey, hey, Carla, Carla, Carla! I like, I like that analogy. Talk that but shit. You, but you gotta have oh, the players you too, bring though. I a pastry saying. chef on. You, agree, you don't know if he's going to be the next five star okay, chef. Caller, That's okay. Caller, you don't caller, need him to be the next five star chef. You Call need him I to show you how to make those pastries. And that's what Thomas Brown is going to do. He's going to bring Thank those you. concepts. He's Thank going to you. bring those schemes so we can add it to Reich's Mr. Call, playbook. Mr. Call, so, so, and Reich is going to be I'm calling the play. So you're going to tell me we're going to call it. Are you a white man or a black man or a Spanish man? I hear you. I hear you. Well, we'll start there. So you mean we're going to be running Sean McVay playbook in, in Charlotte next year? It's going to be some some, some, some things from L.A. 100% Big Cat. Okay. One hundred percent. Big cat. I hear y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you for the pander. Hey, 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 yeah. no, I love you. you. Yeah. I love you, big cat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all my brother. brothers. Well, yeah, you man. already know I, what it is, Ricky Gas. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, but I had to cook Leo dumbass because I'm tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? 
he 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 think that he the only one that can speak that vernacular and that and that and that rhetoric and that that get him off. I'm tired of that shit. Stop being so biased towards black coaches, especially if they have proven themselves in the league under of a successful coach. You see what I'm saying? Tony Dungy was was a success. You know what I'm saying? Tony Dungy was a success. It's not it's not an outlier at this point. It's getting it's getting ready to be more inclusion into the league, and we gotta accept this. Well, start right there, Ricky. Let, 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 let me ask you a question, wait, Leo. You can't just say a white man is gonna be the reason why we win a championship as a coach on the offensive coordinator. You can't say that. No, that's our all black staff. <clears throat> well, Leo, let me, not, Leo let me ask you a question, Ricky. Let me ask you a question. Uh, right, I think yeah, the call your black A ones on the sideline. I think the caller. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, one of them niggas gonna have a black Air Force Ones on the hey, side. That nigga's stupid. Listen, Ricky, this is what I'm trying to ask you, bro. My man in the background just said that he's not coming over here to call plays, right? He said Frank Wright's gonna be calling plays. So 100%. What, what would he be doing at OC then? That's what I'm trying to ask. I'm asking a question. You implement okay, so, the offense. Okay, so okay, so as OC, he gonna be, you know, um lessening Frank Wright's load. You know what I mean? At, at, however he can. Elaborate. You know, elaborate for one. me. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no. Just as uh, much as he can. I need you to elaborate. Detail for me. Okay, Let me ask detail. you something, okay, Big okay, Cat. Let me ask okay, you something, detail, Big detail, Cat. Detail, detail. Yes. Detail. Let me ask you something. Hold on. Come on. It, 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 up until today, when we got the news about Thomas Brown, <laughs> what grade would we give Frank Reich on the the people he's hired for this for this coaching staff? Oh, hey, I give my A. Up to hey, why, why would we question this one then? He's, he's, he's made, because Frank you're hiring, Frank you're hiring. Hold on, hold on. This is why I'm gonna get, I'm gonna help you out. Frank you're, Frank Reich's gonna pick the people he needs to be successful because he wants to be successful. Thank I, you, I, Andrew, I understand. On. I understand that. And listen, you're right. But my point is, is the reason why I'm questioning is because you're hiring a guy for a role that the guy has and doesn't have a lot of experience with. I understand that. So is that I'm, dumb to say, hey, I'm hiring somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience at the role? That's stupid to you. That's how offensive coordinator positions work. Though. So, so every that's offensive that's coordinator, hold on, hold on, every but, offensive coordinator in the National Football League never been an offensive coordinator. Most no, no. There are some. There are some teams, them. Big Cat. There are a lot of teams that you their offensive coordinator calls the plays. Frank Reich has always called his own plays from when he was an offensive coordinator to when he was a head coach. The same thing with Kevin Stefanski mm -hmm. over in Cleveland. He calls all his plays. Yeah. He's the next coach of the year. Yes. I'm telling you that you you get an offensive coordinator to set up the scheme of your <laughs> offense and 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 if you're a, a play calling coach like a like a uh, Belichick or let's say a, a uh, Sean McVay or Kyle Shanahan, you're running the. You're actually running the offense. Why not okay? go with you're Caldwell? Why call. not go with Caldwell, who trained up on a Tony Dungy and shit, and, and, and Peyton Manning? Why not run his scheme? Because Caldwell doesn't want to be the offensive coordinator. You know that for sure. Uh, yes, he. <laughs> we brought him in to interview for the offensive coordinator position. He didn't want to do hey, it. Hey, big cat. Yeah, bro. There's big a cat. lot of. There's a lot more Jim work Caldwell, involved with being an be basically overseeing the offense, the defense, and the special teams up under Frank Wright. So he he has he has that ability to and put his own stamp on offense, defense, and special teams because that's what he was brought in to do. Most first-time offensive coordinators come from position groups like your quarterback coach, like Brian Johnson. Right, Brian Johnson wasn't at offensive court. No, but guess what? He was a positions coach, and now he's going to be an offensive coordinator. That's how the hey, position works. Hey, 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 hey Gasman, let me say this. Gasman, let me say this point real quick. Go the ahead, man go ahead. said here had an interview for the Houston Texans for their head coaching job, regardless if it was a minority hire or it was a minority candidate. This man had an interview with Houston Texans to be the head coaching job. Yes, D'Amico Ryan's got the job. Then this man also had that we know of had an interview with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to be their OC. Then the man he had, had actually interview two head him. coach uh, interviews. I think uh, he had C. I think he had two head coaching. Uh, I, I can't find uh, the interviews. I've been trying to look for it for the so, moment. Yeah. So what are you I saying, C. Dougie? What are you saying? Because no the nigga got an interview, he qualified. Correct. He because he got an interview, that makes him qualified. What you are telling me? No, what, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Is, no. What I'm getting at is you have positions. I think whatever the other car is saying, you get promoted up. I just I'll use I use the analogy like me and you were talking earlier. I know somebody that sit here was a cleaner. 
And this man now is an engineer <laughs> because he got the proper tools and he learned what to do. Now, I'm not saying you just give somebody something just to okay. give them a title, okay. but they have to work for it. Yeah. Well, and then shout out Walt to Senior for that cash app. Well, what's and, up, and baby? And Big Cat, real yeah. quick, real yeah. quick, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to jump position. off. Okay. I'm, about, I'm about to jump off, but okay. I just want to add one last thing. Yeah, yeah. Our last, our, our last gaping hole on offense, right? We we got a, we got a, a great receiver, DJ Moore. You know what I'm saying? We got a good running back in, in Deontay Foreman. Our last, no, no he's collect- not signed yet. So you can't say that. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. For, Who's not signed stuff. yet? Shout out to Scotty. I'm cool with the hire for the compensa- uh, compensation picks. I don't know if we get any there. I think do we do we get them or do the Rams get them? I'm not sure. Thank you for that cash up. Shout out to Walt Senior. Rule hire Brady with no experience. Don't forget that. Exactly. You see how that shit turned out? Yeah, I spoke on that earlier. Shout out to Choppy. He said, "Here's my dollar, man. I appreciate that, Choppy. Thank you, brother." Last time, I don't was, know why y'all keep putting that tag on that boy. He ain't gonna be offensive coordinating shit. You know what I mean? But y'all gotta but understand. But he but just there to hold that fucking clipboard. That's it. But, 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 but real quick, real quick, real quick. The last time we were successful. The last time we were successful as a team, we had a good tight end. God damn it! I can't hear six of y'all now. Go ahead, gas man. Go ahead. No, I'm gonna say this, and I'm done. See, Dougie, real quick. The last time we was a good, great team, a serviceable team that the team was proud of, we had a great tight end. And that's, that's I was the last to. time. That's all I got. All right, so, 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 gas mask, just stay right there. Do we have a tight end? Because in L.A. they had who? Tyler Hidby. Then they had Gerald Everett. And then they had, what's the other boy that when Hidby got hurt? I can't think of the other tight end. Yeah, yeah they what's had name? tight Parnum? end. His name was Parnum? Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm on the is, I'm, I got you, bro. I, I study football all day long. I got hey, you. Hey, on on this roster right now, do we have a Tyler Higby? No, no, not yeah. at all. Do we have a, a Gerald Everett? No, hell no. Okay, what's in there in the free agency right now? We didn't all talked about it. We didn't Just talk on papers on sense. We didn't talk on um. I didn't talk it on my channel. You got two <laughs> tight ends right now that you can bring in off the jump in free agency before you jump in the draft. Hey, yeah, fuck well, all that. Look, look, let me tell you this, C. Let's, let's get into it. I want to. I want to talk some deep shit today. You talking about? Ooh. I think the caller in the back said scheme. What is the yeah. scheme that we're implementing, and what pieces do we need to make it work? Who said that? Somebody said he's uh, coming in here to so bring in a scheme. What's the scheme? I did. I did, so bitch. I did. That R B O. No, no, not you, the white man. Right. Go ahead. No. no. Oh, the white man. <laughs> right scheme is he said not you, the white man. <laughs> is an offshoot of the West Coast offense. So he he studied. Well, under oh, Doug Peterson. Hey, hey, let me say this. Hold on, y'all. Hey, we just we just got another black um coach on the staff. I was, I was, I was, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the black house. That's what this is. <laughs> this is this the black this house. Off. But yeah, we just we just got our outside linebacker coach hey, as well. And we had a white offensive coordinator. How'd that work out for us? Uh-oh. Get us no go, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, there you go, Andrew. Fucking Ben McAdoo we, was no, no, terrible. No, Andrew, Andrew, we had two. We had. Joe Brady, uh, 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 Brady, and then we have Ben McAdoo. And do no care. What, yeah, I don't care what color they are. Let's just win from fucking games. Thank there you. you. Know Thank I mean? you. All right. So, <laughs> Reich's offensive scheme, uh, because he's a he's Frank. No, no, no. I don't want to hear about Frank Reich's scheme. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said Frank Reich's scheme. I don't want to hear what you just told me. Thomas Brown is coming to set a scheme. So fuck what Frank Reich's scheme is. Let's talk about no, Thomas Brown. That's scheme. not what I said. You that's just said he's said. coming to implement a scheme, no. right? Yeah, he did. Said, big kid. No, what I said was Thomas Brown is coming to bring the concepts of McVeigh's scheme to add them to Reich's scheme. Mm-hmm. Right. There we so go. there are certain concepts that you have um, in eleven personnel. That McVeigh has made very famous, right? He knows how to run it. Thomas Brown was the assistant head coach. He wasn't just the tight ends coach. He was the assistant head coach. Oh, well, you know, right dude, Deuce Staley was too, though, in in Detroit. So, right. <laughs> so that I mean, we got two. We got two of the same niggas. Yeah, yeah. man, that's what we got. Two of the same niggas. So. 
What did what did Reich say in his press conference? He said he running the ball wins the championships. I already know where you're going with. No, he said we wanted to get a coach. Tell him to shut up. No, Chase, say shut up. Nigga, shut your ass up. And roll the goddamn blunt. <laughs> the blunt roll, nigga. We smoking. <laughs> we smoking already. See, day. I can't wait to put one on you. Can't wait to put one on you. You had to smoke your shit out of a can. So, Reich wanted to bring in people who were going to bring a, divi- uh, a diversity of thought. Ben Johnson's offensive system is different <laughs> than McVay's <laughs> offensive system, which is different than Reich's offensive system. Shout out to DeAndre Ross. He said, a scheme is a concept. What the fuck? <laughs> Niggas get on this mic, just be blurting shit out. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck. Them niggas in here watch a little bit of Madden and ESPN. Now they fucking know concepts and schemes and packages and shit. Fuck out of here. And game manage. That's a fact. So being able to have all of these concepts that we can add to the playbook will will lead to us being less predictable. That is what Reich wants. That is what Thomas Brown brings. It's not that he is going to bring the entire scheme. Man, you must be a goddamn L.A. Ram fan for you to be jocking and smocking this motherfucking Thomas Davis. Thomas, whatever damn who I mean, who the fuck is he really? Is this just what he's going to... Hey, who is this? What's your name, Carla? What's your Again. name? Again, my name is Ian Ruther. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this shit after this, after this year that some bitch get fired in year one. <laughs> Hell, got two of the same niggas in there. I think they was confused. You remember this when we're in the playoffs, and then you oh. have to be celebrating that we're in the playoffs, but you. Hate well, I mean, you, you, you can you see playoffs. you contradicting yourself though, Carla. First, about twenty minutes ago, you stood on the fact that Frank White was going to be calling these plays. Am I correct yeah. or am I wrong? I, I, huh? I, I didn't deviate from that. Okay, but 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 in the same but in the same breath, you're saying that that Thomas or whatever that fuck boy name is is no. going to bring and implement a scheme that that no, that that, that you bring concepts of that scheme. This isn't that hard to understand, right? Like, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. He's, he said, "Listen, niggers, this shit ain't hard to understand." <laughs> He said, I know you niggas' brains is loaded with BET, big booty women, and alcohol, but this ain't hard to understand here. For, for, by your <laughs> accounts, Carla, you are saying so, that so we'll, the niggas going to be the offensive coordinator. But you, at the same the time, guy. you saying Frank going to run the play. I don't want, quite frankly, who is, so who is this offensive coordinator that you so, so, so goddamn 100% stand on, Carla? Offensive coordinator is is much more than calling plays. No, I'm not asking you the fucking title guy. I'm asking you who is the guy we got in here. I know what an offensive coordinator is. I'm asking you who is the guy we got in here. What's his name? Thomas Brown? Yeah, yeah, you've been okay. you've been saying his name for the last thirty minutes. Uh, 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 Leo, Leo, let me let me break it down for you here. Hey, right? hey, um, so, hey, um, I love you, my boy. A hey, big cat, much love. See, Dougie, you know what's going on. All right, gas, shout out, man. Gas, gas Man in the chat, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all shout y'all, my much, nigga, much, Gas much, Man much, out. Yo, much love, and hey, just for this, tonight, fuck this that nigga Leo. Is like cat. a tree, right? Yo, we're going to have right tree. But Thomas Brown is going to bring some branches to put on the tree. So, oh, what you saying, niggas like the kind branches? Shout out to Maloney. He says, <laughs> he said Panther, <laughs> Panther's gonna hold half the third round. <laughs> You don't get what he's talking about. He's talking about the compensation pick. All these black people were hiring. Shout out to DeAndre Scott. Oh, yeah, I read that. It's the rest of the league, Gad. Yeah. That's not that's not his scheme. That's he not whose scheme. West Coast scheme. He has a West Coast scheme. But but you just said he's not bringing the entire scheme. That's what well, you just Reich, said. Reich has Boy. a West Coast scheme. Okay. So, what so Thomas Brown is going to bring <laughs> certain 
passing concepts from the eleven personnel. <laughs> but how? Where, 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 where is he getting that from? What, what, where, where do you think? I'm asking you. Where is Thomas Brown getting these or getting this knowledge of these schemes that you so-called speak of, Carla? I'm, this is what I'm asking your funk ass. Who is he? <laughs> yeah, <I'm dead. laughs> Do you think that he was just like sitting on his ass? No, nah, see, he trying to talk. He trying to talk to me as if place? as if his point is over my head or some shit of that nature. When when like, when you, when in reality that like, shit on the really god damn white man throwing them left hooks at this nigga. Say that like, again. You're 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 either being like. Obtuse just to be obtuse, or you're really slow. See, look at him, look at him. There you uh, go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you that's go right. again. Hey, you, 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 you have a line there, brother. Shit. Hey, brother, yeah, you know, just no, dumb shit. I, I, I knows his shit. And Come on now, you ain't call, call my nigga slow, man. Shout out to Blizzo. Blizzo says, I'm gonna smack Lex Luger. Let's get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, let me see. Put, put a 50 piece on his head. Y'all want Lex Luger the fuck out of here? 50 pieces. We'll get him out of here. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's a, he, yeah, yeah, I, I need, yeah. Yo, who's this? It's DG, Big Cat. What's your name? DG. DG, what that stand for? You say what? DG, what that mean? That's my initials. Where you from, bro? I'm from Charlotte. I'm from the city. Okay, all right, all right. I mean, like I told you, he come in here speaking as if his point is over he's our head. To but he's in, to in reality, this shit is on the bottom of my shoe. You understand? Where is he going to get this concept from? Like he wasn't the assistant. No, no. Let me, let me, let me dumb my question down for your slow ass, so so you can understand. I'm, and this is the third time. I'm asking you who this offensive caller is. I mean, uh, offensive play caller is the offensive coordinator. Who is Thomas Brown? Since you come in here and you stand on yes, who he yes, is yes. and what. Hold on. You tell me what he's going to bring, what kind of scheme and concept he bringing. You, this is what you said. I want to, I want to know out of your mouth, who is he? Where, where, where do you tell me who he is? I've told you he is the assistant head coach for the Los Angeles Rams. I know that shit already, man. Tell me something else. Tell me something else. Since you said I'm slow, nigga, I know that shit already. You ain't. I, I know that shit. I know where the fuck he, where the fuck he come from. Tell, tell me something else, Carla. You about to blow my top. I try to be cool with your ass, but you ain't going to come in here and talk shit like don't nobody know what the fuck you talking about. Nigga, you ain't talking about shit. You saying dumb shit. Explain yourself, Carla. I have explained it several times. If you don't understand it, that's on your end. Uh, but everybody in the chat uh, seems they to understand. They go again. They so go again. You you're the only one that doesn't understand. They, they go again. Yeah. I happen, to, I happen to think I like Thomas Brown. Andrew, it, Matt, it, watch, it, watch this. Watch this. Here's the thing, watch this. Here's watch the thing. this. Andrew, hold on. Let me let me yeah. prove a point. I'm sorry, okay. Andrew. Yeah, no, I go gotta ahead. do this. Andrew, uh, who is Thomas Brown? Tell me who Thomas Brown is, Andrew. He he's a uh, but watch, watch coach. this, big cat. Go ahead, go ahead, Andrew. He's an assistant coach with the Los Angeles Rams that had a semi successful college coaching career. Uh, and this would be his big first job, other than being a, like a, a, a tight ends coach or a, or a running backs coach. This would be his big first. And really, he's here because of one person, Sean McVay. That's it. It's a promotion. We, we don't know what he's going to be. We don't know what he's going to be. He's here because he came from the Sean McVay system. Yes, okay, right. so uh, we we can we yeah. can sit here and say, hey, he may he may be good or he may not be. We don't know. All right. we know is that, that right. Frank Reich's going to give him an opportunity to try to prove himself. But uh, it, the point is, were there better qualified candidates? Hell yeah! I wanted Jim Bob Cooter from day one. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. So I wanted Jim Bob Cooter, and, but 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 uh, you know. no no no. You see that big cat? I I asked Andrew who was who was. Yeah, who's this? <laughs> Hollywood big cat. What's, what's up, up man? What's up? Nigga? Let me let you hear. Hey, hey, shit. And and place that to where to where me I'm sure you big cat 
And any fucking football fan could relate to it. You understand? Oh, he's Yo, a Georgia Bulldog, too. <laughs> what's up, fellas? Who is this, Hollywood? Yeah. That's what I had hey, said the entire on, time. I ain't shit, bro. I, I just been listening. So, look, I think y'all missing the point. When Frank Wright had his damn uh, opening press conference, the man said, depending on who the OC is, it'll depend on if he's calling plays or not. Exactly. Um, but Hollywood, I, I will say this. When we broke, that's a the, fact. broke, when we broke the confer- um, press conference down the first day before, we already knew that he said he was calling plays. As he said, right. look, there's a coach out there. That's in the playoffs, and the coach has the Super Bowl calling the plays. Is there a problem with that? No, I mean he, they didn't just they didn't get the guy. That's all that was. They didn't get him. Or did or did the guy not fit the scheme? Or did the guy? Well, maybe not fit he the coach didn't want to come here. Maybe he didn't want to come here. That's all that is. And <laughs> honestly, y'all, I think I think for real, Frank is gonna call these plays, and if the shit don't work out the way he think it's gonna work out. Then he gotta have a ball guy. Fuck that star that you right, you right. Hey, shout out, shout out to everybody in the chat showing me love. Y'all know what time it is. Right. You ain't subscribed to that uncle underscore twenty twenty yet. Please do so. Yeah. Big cat nigga saying I'm emotional, nigga yeah, saying yeah, I'm yeah, Hey look, fuck hey, fuck hey fuck if you say it that nigga, go subscribe to the channel. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you there. Don't God even, damn it. I ain't worried about the fuck him. Stay right there. Now yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me holler at C Dougie. C Dougie. What up? You know who Skip Pete is? Who? Skip Pete. Do <laughs> you know who Skip Pete? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. He, he, he should know who this is. Skip Pete. It sounds familiar. Now he was the running backs coach when the Rams went to the oh, Super Bowl. The Guess where he's at now? Guess where he's at now? He's been with the Cowboys for the last two years. He's the running backs coach. That's now, when I got fired. Skip Pete. Now you tell me. Got fired, you tell Pete. me. You tell me. Yeah, he got fired. You tell me who deserves more he opportunity, Skip Pete, as as a running backs coach or Thomas Brown. Now, mind you, Skip Pete was on this running back staff for the L.A. Rams when they went to the Super Bowl. Hmm. When they won the Super Bowl, or went to the Super. Bowl, I'm sorry, when they lost to the Patriots. When they lost to the Patriots, why does he have an office coordinator spot? And. He's been running the Cowboys offense. If you watch Cowboys football, you hey, look, you're Kelly, I'm gonna ask you. Where's he at? Where's Skip hold Pete? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Skip Pete's out of a job. Where? He just got fired. Wait a minute, but he has more credential. He has more yeah. experience doing what he's doing. Yeah. Why is he somewhere? Don't you tell me that. Yeah. Versus somebody with man, y'all better y'all better leave yeah. me the fuck alone. Y'all David Tepper lied to you. He was, was going to get that, that buddy Wait shit in the book. Wait a minute, he was on a Sean McVay. He was on a Sean McVay. Why is he out of work? Um, what what is the problem? I need a fucking answer. That's, that's, that's what I need. Lie, I need an answer. Too, God damn, Everybody buddy, fucking they... quiet on the line. Where's the fucking answer? Why is he don't have this? Why why he don't have a job? He's on the shopping face. Nobody knows. Okay. Good night, y'all. I don't know. Big <laughs> I don't know these guys that you're talking about. That's good night, everybody. Nah, I know before. who you're talking about. Hey, Hollywood. He just got fired. He just got fired just because of the success that they had on offense <sighs> because um their head coach didn't take the fall. So he fired everybody else. Yeah. But I understand what Big Cat is saying. He's saying, right. so, why didn't... So they had a fall guy. Yes. That's what you're saying. Skip, Skip Pete that's, was the fall that's guy. That's the same thing that's going to happen here. Exactly. Skip Thank Pete. you, Hollywood. Is, is, Shout out to Hollywood. I just told y'all. Talk, talk. Get that nigga. Ah, damn, niggas don't fuck. Yeah, who's this? What's up, man? This Lou Baby. Big What's up, nigga? Let me let you hear, man. I'm trying to educate oh, these yeah. niggas. These niggas are hyperly <laughs> emotional. They don't understand. Well, you know, <laughs> hey, David Tepper sent these niggas up for a LeBron all you on their ass for the slam dunking them. You know what I mean? Niggas Come don't want to see it, but they don't want to see it, though. Because there's hey, more qualified it, niggas without it, bro. Silly motherfucker. Oh. You're right. I, I, I read it. Was that. A, I mean, well, he was on the minority train. Shout out Luke for that cash app. Luke, I see you, baby. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? How y'all feeling tonight, man? This is Lou Baby. What up, Lou Baby? Hey, look, I ain't gonna talk for long because my phone's on 3%, man, and I'm on Blackstone. I'm cooking some food for the wife and shit. But, um, based on because I'm just tuning in, bro. I've been doing a lot of work today. My bad, man. I try, I'm trying to catch all your lives and shit on point. But based off of what I heard from what, you know what I'm saying, intro and everything, um, real shit. I don't know much about this dude because I haven't heard much about him. I'm not even going to lie. So for me to sit here and talk some hoorah shit about him, I'll be lying. 
But that's a fact. Real shit, that's man. A fact. Um, Frank Wright, man, from from the demeanor that he showed in his first press conference with us, um, he showed strength and he showed determination. And I truly feel that regardless of his purpose coming in, obviously he's an uh, OC. Frank Wright ain't gonna let him fuck up because if he see him fucking, up, I feel like Frank Wright is the type of man that would say, you know what? Let me go ahead and get that strip. Hey, fall back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, yep. I feel like I feel like yep. I feel like Frank Wright is the type of man like, look, if this shit crash, <laughs> I'm the pit nigga in charge. So y'all, y'all fall the fuck back. We're gonna find somebody else. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Don't worry. We're gonna find somebody else because it ain't working. Hey, because hey, speaking of that, Wright, why you think go ahead, go ahead, my bad. No, no, with, with Frank Wright being hired, he know that David Tepper is already at the max of losing, and he know this. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at Frank Wright contract. I don't know if y'all got no. Nah, sure. nobody ain't seen it. Yeah, nobody yeah. seen. So, so nobody I, seen I, none I, of so, these contracts. Nobody got okay, no contracts. So, yeah, so with these contracts being very discreet, I'm pretty sure David Tepper is spending some money right now. Uh, and, and, and that, that's just, hey, but hey, 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 baby, I'll say this. The only thing can, we can do I add on is, to that? Hey, our I add coordinator. Hey, only thing we do know, our D corner is supposed to be the highest D coordinator in the league. That's one thing that we do oh, know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Fellas, what I'm asking you is this. <clears throat> we just had this call that was snapping at my nigga Unk, okay? This nigga was snapping at my nigga Unk, trying to make him look stupid, right? Well, he really made himself look stupid because you got guys like Skip Pete who went to the Super Bowl in 2018 with the Rams when they lost to the Patriots down here in Atlanta. That year, Todd Gurley was an all-pro. Now, from 2020 to 22, he's been with the Cowboys as their running backs coach. All right? Their running backs, Tony Pollard has been phenomenal. You know, Ezekiel has been mid. But all in all, he's been a pretty good running backs coach from them to now. He's qualified to potentially move up until the offense coordinator role. All right? Because he has proven himself with an all-pro running back and, uh, and with the success, a success of Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott. It's proven. It's, you can't deny that shit, Okay? But my point is, is why doesn't he have an OC job? Versus Thomas Davis, Thomas Brown, excuse me, Thomas Brown. What? And he also, by the way, Skip Pete came from under Sean McVay. Because a lot of people are saying, well, he's going to implement Sean McVay's scheme. You don't think Skip Pete could have done that? For Devontae Adams. Hey, you know what? I thought about that shit. I, I thought about that, but man, that's too good to be true. Because he, yeah. he wants to play with Derek Carr. Well, again. I'm going to tell you something, Andrew. And niggas is fighting me tooth and nail. Motherfuckers hey. swear up and down that there's no news about the Carolina Panthers even wanting to look at Derek Carr. But. In fact, I've seen and I've known multiple reports. They they out here, and if if you don't believe that the Panthers won't dead car, I think your ass is lost. I think your ass is slow. You behind time if you ask hey, me. Um, hey, um, I'm yeah, yeah. Say, I'm gonna disagree with you because I feel like they bringing in all these vet kind of coaches to groom somebody else. And Hold on, when you lost, say you disagree with me, what you mean that the Panthers ain't interested in Derek Carr? It's not that they're not interested. They probably, you know, like, uh, what's the name? Uh, Scott Fitter said he's going to be in on every deal. But I don't think yeah, it's going to pan it. out, bro. I don't think it's going to pan out. I think they're just looking to see. And then, you know, like I said again, um, all these uh, vet coaches, bro, if the shit don't pan out, somebody going to be the fucking fall guy because what's going to be the excuse? You got all these damn high-level coaches. But you know what though? With um whoever said that on um, deal about Devontae Adams, um uh, the other night when we was on live and you said hold off before you get your DJ Moore jersey. You you remember that? <laughs> I, I, I remember that. I remember that. Well you call him a fucking liar? <laughs> but, 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 but 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 check though. Listen. No, I wanna hear what he no, gotta no, say. No, Watch no, this, no, big no, cat. Watch no, this. Uh 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 I'm just putting two two together because if he heard it that for him, he say she say. It's just he said she say right now because it's not confirmed. But if that is true, because it's already from from what I heard, Carolina Panthers already putting the put together package deal for picks with picks. Mm -hmm. If that's true, hey, hey, so I so I, I, I hold on real quick, Lou baby. By by the temperature of your tone, you've heard DJ Moore in these packages, correct? 
I'm not saying. Oh, Nick, no, 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 Oh, we've been hearing this shit for two years, bro. We've been hearing this shit for two years. Yeah, we've been hearing this shit for two years, bro. Okay, this shit okay. don't mean nothing until it happens. Okay, but I just, I'm just, no, Hollywood. I'm talking to Lou Baby. I'm trying to get something out this nigga because because okay. evidently he feeling a certain type of way because he 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 want to address it. Oh. Oh, oh, my ball about to drop. Oh, you ain't gonna no nah, hell no. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm going off of what you said, and I'm and I'm putting two and two together. Or what my man said about Devontae Adams. If that is true, then what you saying could possibly come true this year, correct? <laughs> if they all yeah, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Let me let me go back to Hollywood. Hollywood, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You made a great point earlier. I want to I want to go back to. When you said, thank you, thank you, thank you. What, 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 better, what better thing to do than to sit here and bring in a guy with, with little to no experience in Thomas Brown, surround himself around a bunch of veteran head coaches, and then if the shit doesn't work out, blame this nigga. Now, oh, he's going to get the blame. Now, now stay right here. Stay right here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see no other well, logical time. explanation well, for it. Let me, let, me, really let, me, let me tell you why this makes sense. Do you, do you think... If if this nigga hires an entire staff full of what a, hold on what what what's the name what's that you that see that yeah let me let me let me get this clear how many rings Super Bowl? how many Super Bowl rings we got twenty one oh, rings okay. slash appearances hey watch this Hollywood yeah, Hollywood, lot, Hollywood, Hollywood Hollywood be quiet watch this watch this Hollywood Hollywood watch this how many again twenty one appearances slash Super Bowl twenty one that's a, that's more than twenty now look <laughs> with that being said. You got 21 years of fucking experience, Super Bowl experience. If it doesn't work out, who who gets the blame? You think you really think the first one? The first one to go is always the offensive coordinator. You always. You really think with 21 years of experience, all these veteran head coaches and offensive coordinators, defense coordinators, you think they're gonna blame each other? You think they're gonna who they gonna blame? They're gonna blame the lowest man on the totem pole. On the totem pole, that shit always rolls down. <laughs> who's, always. The low, who's the lowest totem pole? Who's the lowest man? Yeah, why they get do Staley the job? I mean, come on. Well, they gonna take a. They gonna, let me let me meet myself. You better hope this shit work year one. Cause you. Hey, I got right. a question for y'all. Yeah, I yeah. got a question. Under Frank Wright, who is the number two guy? Who? Caldwell. Caldwell. Mm. See, see, right there, there, start right there, start nah, right there, start right there, start see, right there. Conwell ain't involved. He, 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 uh, yeah, you right, that's Andrew. Been going on, they all been like slash right, assistant Andrew. slash yeah. senior. Uh, yeah. whoever. That's what. That's all what. That but shit. Deuce Staley, Andrew just said it. Deuce Staley is the assistant head stay, coach. Stay, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Let me. Let me. Let me Shout out Stephen for their cash right. yeah. Thank you, Stephen. I love Steven. you, baby. Stephen said, "Just stop by to listen to the show." Big love, Stephen. Big love. Now let me let me ask you this, uh, C. Doug. You there? Yeah. When did uh Joe Bur or uh, Joe Brady get fired? Yeah, mid season. No, no. How, how many years? How many years into his contract? It was a year. Wait it was a minute. Within a year. Stay right there. Stay right there. Let, 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 let me. Add, let, let me stay right there. Stay right there. Ooh, I'm, 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 you guys are so smart. Stay right there. Cause somebody in the chat, it, it, somebody it, in the it, chat it, asked it. me, Big Cat, you mean to tell me they're gonna fire him after a year? Let me ask this question one more time, fellas. When did Joe Joe Brady get fired? Within a after year. A year. All right. Please don't ask stupid questions, Flay. Please, ladies and gentlemen, don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> We do this shit right. for real. We do this shit. Come on now. Come on. Don't, don't play me. Don't hold me out. Don't hold me out. When, one, one more time. One more time. When did Joe Brady get fired? <laughs> one more, I'm, a year. I'm a little stupid. What a, what he didn't make it a so, full year. He didn't make it a full really fucking year. So my point is, you you bet your sweet ass these niggas going to hit the ground running. Ain't no excuses. There's no room for fall failure. It, you're right. Failure it's is not, not an option. Not no excuse. And quarterback not having a quarterback, not an option. Not having the over, you know not what? an option. Hey, no hey, D-line, not an option. Can't. You must hold win up. year one. You must win the division hold year up, hold one. Up, hold up, hold up. Ain't no so fucking excuses. I'm saying. Uh, that shit makes sense why they would want why they would be in on Derek Cardin because why would you want a rookie quarterback if if you have to prove that shit in the first year? It makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, but I just don't like the idea. I, I'm tired of getting these other teams' quarterbacks. You know, God damn, I mean, if we gonna do some point. raggedy I'm shit, I'm not telling y'all niggas I want Derek Carr, but I'm but telling I you this may be a move they make.
I'm just I saying, if we don't do they have to make that move like up. That. If they can't move up, they're going to have to no, make no, that no, move up. No, 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 Andrew. If we're going to do some raggedy shit like that, we might as well huh. fucking run it back with Sam That's and Matt Corral. We might as well. Yeah, but you can't compare Matt, uh, Sam Donald to uh, Derek Carr. Derek Ford, Carr is a four-time Pro Bowler. He, yeah, he, you know, no, he, no, he, I'm not. I'm not comparing it, Andrew. I'm not comparing it. I'm just saying he's already here. I, I, I've, I've seen Derek Carr's stats over the years. The man has always been over three thousand, four thousand yards every year. I know that. I'm just saying you might as well just run it back with them. You might as well. If if you don't want to take no chances with a rookie quarterback. I don't want no old somebody else's goddamn garbage. I don't. I, mean, I, don't. I, I just don't. I just don't want to see him give away the damn farm to try to move I, up. I don't either, this guy. Then, then, don't then we either. lose. We lose more than we and, gain. Hey, and check the tape. That's why I've always been a proponent of we don't have to draft a fucking quarterback in the first round. We don't have to, y'all. We don't. I agree with that. There's plenty of other positions we need. Plenty. What we need to happen is we need Las Vegas to to take Aaron Rodgers because that 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 pretty much assures us Will Levis or uh, Anthony Richardson. It, yeah, if Vegas gets a free agent quarterback, then we'll have we'll be in the position to get one of those guys unless someone trays up ahead of us. But uh, I, I'm that would a, have I'm to be honest, be, Andrew. Yeah. I can see I can see Carr going to the fucking Jets. Big oh, chat, help us big chat, all. big chat, yeah. big chat. Question. I and I think a lot of motherfuckers ain't gonna ain't gonna really think no weight on the shit until they get your true opinion of the situation. All right, no, you don't say that, Derek. First off, I want to know how you feel about Derek Carr coming to Carolina, and second off, do you believe there's any validity to the fact that he could possibly be? Signed in Carolina. Mm -hmm. So right there, let me read this cash out. But I'm gonna answer both of those questions. Really, really, really good question. Yeah, yeah, Steven, Steven. Shout out to Big Steven. Panthers must win next year, no exception. You fucking right, they better win. Uh, do I want Derek Carr, Carolina? If I could take hell and add uh, N and O to it, I say hell no. I don't want. I don't want him, man. I don't want him. Turnover prone. Um, interception, fumble. I don't want that. Give me Sam Darnold for nine million dollars. I'll take my chance with him or Matt Corral. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank or, you. Or draft Thank a you. draft. Y'all gonna stop shitting on or, goddamn or, Matt Corral. Or, that's right. Or draft a quarterback late round. Leave it at that. But I'm not taking him. This ain't nothing but Baker Mayfield 2.0. I'm telling you, this is Baker Mayfield 2.0. Stay away from him. Now, what was your second question, brother? Do I believe you? You there? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, here. No, uh, no, you don't. But no, I'm not no. asking you if you believe me. Well, Nigga, I'm a, well, 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 so seen any that. reports out there. Well, see, dog, you say you're a fucking liar, but I don't. I don't oh. think that. Yeah, see, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna tell you something. See, see, Dougie. See, Dougie ain't saying <laughs> shit. If he did, he better stand up. He better stand up like a fucking tell man. Him, tell him, bro, he a fucking liar. Quit sitting down. Piss. Get your ass animated. You hey. ain't say one goddamn word. And you hey, to tell him you a fucking liar. Tell him the whole hey, um, question. Hey, um, let me just say this real quick. I'm gonna see that like big cat. Let me just say this what to y'all. Please, please, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I did a little bit of research. I did a little bit of research. So, so see, they they so they 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 so ab they advocate for this guy. Okay, okay. Since he was so good on the Rams, why the Rams didn't hire him to be the OC? Since, 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 since he's so brilliant, why did the why, why did the Rams hire another person outside of the organization to be the OC? Since he's so since he's such a knowledgeable, since he has all the experience in the world, since 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 since, since, since he's such a since he's such a, a brilliant mind. The the tight ends coach that not 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 the not not the not the pass calling coach not none of that he's a tight ends coach since he was such the man then why they let him go and, and find his own way and, and and hire somebody else to be the OC since he's since he, since he's so knowledgeable with a plethora of experience Big Cat can anybody ask can anybody answer that question for me you want Big Cat to answer who you want no to no answer? no any, any anybody I, oh, anybody 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 to sign my voice anybody shout I out I Steven for that cash app again what well, love Steven. Go ahead, uh, uh, you want to you want to jump in that thing? Uh. Two oh seven to ban Leo till March. Everybody in the chat, send in a dollar. We can get Leo banned till March. He asked what was the second part of the question. Again, big cat running from the question. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I asked that nigga if he, but if you know what, what's your take on Derek Carr coming to Carolina? I told you, nigga, that nigga turnover prone. I'd rather stick with a, a Sam Donald for cheap, and um, brought with uh, uh, what's his name, the Mexican quarterback we got. Corral, stick with him, and, and, and uh, but big cat. But let me just let me just say this to y'all also. He makes it in black. Is, is, is Josh McCown not on the coaching staff? Yeah, he yes, is. he is. So, jo- so Josh now been a quarterback in the NFL. He played for twelve 16 teams. Years. That's right, sixteen years. Oh, for sixteen years, he's he's been he's been a quarterback. Yes. For sixteen years, what what who who has more experience Facts. with play calling X Y and Z? Talk that shit. Why he? I'll, I'll take Josh McCown. The nigga gonna hold the clip, bro. I don't know why y'all. I'll take Josh McCown. I'll take Josh McCown. My OC, bro. But see, but see, 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 the, the, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, the levels, the levels of 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 fucking verbal abuse Leo take on account <laughs> is a, is is unnecessary. You know, I'm ready, though, but see, but see, I, 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 I'm ready for it. But the thing about it is, I just want people to just get outside their emotion, and I just I just gave you logic and reason. If he is such a good coordinator, period, then why didn't the Rams keep him? And why did they hire somebody? Leo, they didn't want his ass, ass, brother. Leo, they don't have that choice. If he want to leave, then he going to leave. No, no, no. He's, no, no, no. He, he, yes, no, he, he, with he, he, paying niggas un, exactly. undisclosed amount of money. No, guys, no. Yeah, man. No, no, no. They let him walk. They, they, Scott, Charming, they said y'all could, y'all could look for other jobs. That's Ain't because nobody. he don't know if he going to return or not. But why? But why did he hire Lafleur to be his offensive coordinator if he didn't know? Nice. You see, hey, they got no answer for it, y'all. I appreciate the time. I don't know, Leo. I really no, no, I know, you, I know you don't know. But I'm telling you, pandering is. I know you don't know. I know you don't know. Do you Pan, know? Do you pa- know? Pandering is disgusting. You should not accept it, black man. I just want you to know. I, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, what well, love, Leo? Hey, hey, Leo. Okay. what's the number, bro? What's the number? To get Leo the fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 nah, I ain't sending you two hundred. Uh, fuck Leo. He ain't. Uh, hell no. Yeah, hell yeah, no. yeah go of Hollywood. Hell no, nigga. I, no. I already, yeah, I already sent said, you a little cash out, nigga. Damn. That nigga said, "What the hell is it gonna take?" He said, for what? They get rid of Leo. It's 207 to get Leo out of here till March. 207. It's really not going to matter because the offensive coordinator on this team is Persona and Ungrata. Frank Reich's calling the place. That's uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, Andrew, that's what we keep trying to tell these motherfuckers. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew. I mean, Andre. Uh, um, Andrew, didn't we say that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're trying to tell these niggas. See, he, he said that at the conference. He just didn't want to. You know, I'm, Andrew, I'm sure he, would, he didn't feel real comfortable like but saying, Andrew, yeah. We before yeah. the conference. We knew this. So why yeah, because he, he's always called the plays the in his career. Job. You know, he was an offensive yeah, coordinator, a very I good get, one. I get what and, he is. Andrew, let me you know, have been waiting on the offensive coordinator yeah, for yeah, so long, yeah. and yeah. then they just completely, it's like, on the 4th of July, you buy a fucking dud firework. You, know, you expect that bitch to go up and bust right, off. Right. Hey, yeah, um, man, but I it don't, it don't do what you thought it was going to do. To a goddamn Valentine's Day today. <laughs> well, start there, Andrew. Let me ask you yeah. a question, Andrew. How, how, What's that? How, how would you feel if I, I went to NASA and I joined this uh, team of uh, experienced flight coordinators, <laughs> right? And then they put me in there and they said, uh, I'm, I'm the... I'm, uh, the chief operating organization organizer. How would you feel? You I tell him I, I tell him I don't, I don't I know him shit. I, I don't know I shit. I tell him I'm rolling with the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. No, I wouldn't do that shit. So my point, my point is, is you see how it looks though. You got a team full of experienced motherfucking, and here come, here come the motherfucking 
coming in saying I got an important job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Listen, here's the problem. Here's the problem, Big Cat. Yeah. He, you know, the, the reason it the reason it didn't work with Matt Rule yeah. and Ben McAdoo is because you had two head coaches. Ben McAdoo was a head coach with the Giants, and then you had a, a rookie head coach down there on the sidelines. It was bound to lose from the get go. Well, you, you don't. Thing, he, head, huh? This ain't gonna happen now. Then you got them got. Five head coaches. No, no, yeah, but you got no, but it's different. On on the offensive side of the football, calm the plays, okay? He's not gonna call the defense. Edgerell's gonna call the defense, but he calls the offensive plays. So it wouldn't work with like a Ben McAdoo up there, uh, next head coach in as an offensive coordinator, because he wants to call the plays. He's a former head coach. Those head coaches don't want to give that shit up. So uh, this makes perfect sense. Now, d did I think he's the best candidate out there? No. He's not the guy I wanted. I wanted Jim Bob Cooter only because I think he, we need a, a good uh, offensive coordinator who loves a passing game like he did with Trevor Lawrence. Okay? I think that would help the quarterback in a lot of ways. But then we've got a, we got a head coach that uh, uh, was a damn – and we've got a in – look, in my opinion – Everybody made fun because of Josh McCown because he went and coached the high school football team. I think that's his best quality. He said, "Okay, you know what? You don't want you don't think I got the experience? I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get me some." And he went down to the high school and took the job there. I mean, that tells a lot about a man. He's not he doesn't think of himself too good to become a high school football coach. And then he's carrying 17, 18 years experience in the NFL as a backup quarterback, you know how good you have to be in the NFL to play that many years? I don't care if you're a starter or you're a superstar. Every year there's kids coming out of college waiting to bump him off. And he managed to stay in that league for 17 years. We've got we, – we, we're set to win. Uh, that's why I'm saying this guy, yeah, he wasn't my first pick. But uh, to be honest with you, I'm perfectly comfortable with Frank Wright calling the plays on this All offense. Right. Hey, Andrew, uh, uh, you on the phone? Yeah, yeah, you know I'm right here, nigga. <laughs> Big cat petty tonight. All right, answer hey, this question. Y'all stupid as hell for that one. Hey, he's so got he been petty all goddamn night. All right, Sean. Um, we, we're talking about McCow, Josh McCow, right? So, who molded what quarterback did Josh McCow mold that was on this team, or that was on this team? Crickets, nigga, crickets. Nobody got an answer. Niggas, y'all didn't know um, Josh McCown molded Sam Darnold? Because he was Sam yeah, Darnold's I know that. backup yeah. for multiple years in New York. You're right. You're that's right. right. Yeah. Hey, Cricket, right. Now, shut your ass up that you got crickets, motherfucker. Burn. You're right. You about to get caught. So what I'm getting at is now, when you got Sam Darnold being a free agent, y'all keep, keep saying... Oh, see, Dougie, shoot. Hard. I don't want fucking Sam Darnold. But now we might have Sam Darnold be resigned because of the connection with Josh McCow, and you saw what he was able to do when he had Sam Donald underneath his regime of sitting here trying to help this man be a pro. Regardless of what Sam has done, Sam didn't have no help in New York. Sam didn't have the right coach to help him here in Carolina. But Josh McCow sat here and taught this man how to be an actual quarterback. Sam it's finally got to, Sam, we, we finally got to see Sam the, the last half of the last do, 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 do too damn bad. Okay, so can we win the division if all we have is Sam Donald? Yeah, we can win the division. Uh, but the point is, if if, 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 if these teams in, in the NFC South, get, if they get a Derek Carr or Lamar Jackson, we've got to get a fucking quarterback, you guys. There ain't no doubt about it. Or we're, we're, Lamar we're, Andrew? I said if the if the rest of the teams in the NFC South get a Lamar Jackson or even a Derek Carr, that they're talking about, we're going to have to make a move at quarterback because we're not going to we're not going to win the division if we don't. Hey, Andrew, let me, let me, shit, let me, Andrew. Let me, let me ask, still ain't going to do shit. Let me, let me ask you a question, Andrew. Um, what what does this mean for us to draft in the quarterback position? Does this does this make it a little clear on who we're going to draft at quarterback with Thomas Brown? No. No, no. no. It, it doesn't nope. for me. No, nope. it doesn't. Nope. Uh. Uh. Nope. Listen, I'm going to tell you what. Scott Fitterer, where did he come from? Seattle has the fifth pick. I don't mind going third. No, hey, what I'm telling you is he's got a lot of friends in Seattle, and Seattle will come off that fifth pick. 
Hey, so if we if, if we can get if we can get that fifth pick, we're going to get one of the three quarterbacks. That's our chance. That's our chance. Either that or Vegas, if we can get it. Uh, but but we're going to have to. If we don't, if it, if if we go into the season, depending on what these other teams do in the NFC South, if we can win with Darnold, providing the talent hey, that we're hey, facing now. Since you live in California, what, what what are they saying up there in Seattle about Geno? Are, are they are they sold on him another year? Yeah, they're gonna. Yep, I yep, think they're, they're gonna keep him. him. Yeah, they're gonna keep him. I don't yeah, think he's, so. He's thirty-two him. years old. Yeah, I, 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 I think Seattle. You know, Pete Carroll loves defense. He loves defense. That guy loves defense. And uh, uh, with that pick, if he does, he's gonna get someone on defense. Yeah, he's a. You know, he's he's gonna. Uh, Stick the defensive player, so but he can get that at nine if we if we can get that fifth trade for fifth pick from him he he'll be glad to draft at nine. Okay, hey, Chad, because, does the OC hire make it clearer to you if we draft in a QB or not? Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna, <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna get that hey, Philadelphia. Up, huh? This Detroit versus everybody. Hey, oh, they here. Oh, they here. They here. What hey, you say, you Big Jack? I think we're going to run like similar to what he did in Philadelphia. RPO hey, how, shit. How y'all, okay. how, y'all, how y'all feel about becoming the, the Detroit Panthers? Boy, G, set your ass up. Don't come here with that bullshit. <laughs> hey, y'all. What y'all, you talking about, Phil? We got Deuce Staley? Y'all got Deuce Staley. Y'all got. Um, oh, we got the D line coach. Yeah, y'all got our D line coach. Paul y'all, got well. our former, y'all got our former head coach. God. Hey, what's that? No, I, y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all just, y'all just coming, y'all just getting back in body. We, we, we yeah, need the dog. Shout out to Bison Lent. He says, "C Dougie got two F one fifties on his face." Big lip ass boy. <laughs> yeah, they just coming home. They coming. They coming. Yeah, who's this? His man. What's up, man? Let me let you in here. You Panthers fan? What's going on? Huh? You Panthers fan? Absolutely. All right, let me let you know. Want to put something else on it already? We can lock in already, nigga. Oh, shit, put a, you taking put a 50 on that last one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can put a hundred on this one. Oh, yeah, bet, bet it up. I'll, I'll lock in with you. You pay your money. You pay lock your money. In. Lock it in, out. Hey, yeah, yeah, we'll lock like that one. I like the moves y'all making, though. Like, no hey. bullshit. I think hey, y'all hold on. Great Detroit, hey, um, can I put a 50 piece on Derek Carr not getting signed to Carolina? Nah, I ain't, I ain't betting on that shit, nigga. I told you. It's, I, look, if I had to smack your ass, see, <laughs> see that. See, nigga, we got look, a nigga in the I'm chat. I'm telling y'all, niggas, look, the talk is out there. If you if you think it ain't, you sadly fucking mistaken. That's what I'm telling you. What up? Here you go. Here you go. But nah, I, hey, Derek Carr, hey, Derek hey, Carr uh, is a possibility, uh, but he about to go through the dick on every the quarterback, bro. They they probably don't have discussions with Green Bay about Aaron Rodgers. Shout out to Don Julio. Oh, he yeah, says, right. see, Dougie man, has man, to I want some donut. Matter of fact, I want some donut holes, see, Dougie. Send me some donut hey, uh, uh, Don Julio says, see, Dougie has the worst <laughs> takes on here. <laughs> God damn. Damn. <laughs> Well, C. Dougie, C. Dougie, Cody, he do his research. I mean, I don't know what nobody said about uh, uh, You don't got to speak for me. I got you. Call your bitch ass. No, I'm going to speak for you. If I want to speak for you now, I'm fucking with you. Talk your shit, nigga. Shout out to Kelvin. He said, I'm about to call in 843. Yes, sir. Shout out to Samuel Staten. He said, Sam Donald is a bridge quarterback. Backup quarterback. Paul's up. Yes, sir. Shout out to Kelvin. Call in, my G. We go back with Sam Donald. I, I don't. See. Hey, this K, I just cash out your sound, bro. Bad, bro. Nah, no, just let just, me call in. Just, just a comment, nigga. Yeah, man. Hey, right, I just yeah. told the nigga to call in. If he call in, he call in. We can move then on. He call in, and cuss your hey, motherfucking it ass out. It wasn't me that said that night. It wasn't me. It wasn't me that said it. I just called yeah. in, but I heard that comment. But <laughs> hey, this this coaching staff, honestly, what do y'all think? Y- y'all said keep up with uh Matt Matt uh what's his name Donald and uh, Sam Donald. Corral Sam Donald and, and Corral. But this coaching staff ain't got time to baby no quarterback. You know what Who? I'm saying? That they, they ain't they ain't got time to baby no quarterback. Like I said. 
I don't think they're going to go. Oh, that's what he said, Big Cat. Who said that? He said that was C. Dougie said. Hey. I said that to who? <laughs> I didn't hear the name. I mean, for I didn't hear the name. Nah, fellas, but all I was calling in is say, man. All I was calling in and say, man, is that uh, I like this coaching staff move. But there's one thing. There's a question I want to call in last time, Big Cat, when you was on live. Y'all was saying, go for a bridge quarterback, right? Right? Big Cat stepped away. Go ahead. He did. But, but y'all was saying, go for a bridge quarterback, right? Yeah. All right. If we do that, and Big Cat was also saying he would like to have a wide receiver he could just throw the ball to that could run routes, that could get up and get that ball. Okay. If we if we go for a bridge quarterback, a ninth pick, man, Hyatt, Hyatt from Tennessee look good for me, man. Hyatt from Tennessee look good. And I got one more person that I think we could sneak in the second round. I think we could replace Luke Keekley with that linebacker from Arkansas. Saunders. Drew Saunders. Yes. 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 That that boy, if you get him. And then uh, say yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> him and uh Lu Luvi, Luvo, whatever his name is. <laughs> yes. I, I, yes. yes. I think we'll be set. <laughs> but if we if we go for a bridge quarterback, we need to go after Hyatt with that ninth pick. Then after the ninth the after that ninth and second pick, then little holes with the O line, D line, and, and it's gonna be a big free agency for us, fellas. I hope y'all know that. Oh man. It's going to be a big free agency for us, man. You know, um, we just got to figure out who our quarterback going to be. But yeah, shout out Justin K. Hyatt at nine. What? Now, I don't know where the fuck that came from. Yeah, you, know, um, that's where you read that. What, you about 60 picks too far. Too, too fast for white. Y'all think Hyatt's going to be at least 15? Huh? Nah, he not. You the, 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 no. the nigga out of TCU will go top 15. Not, not high. But they got but to he, you fast. So. That dude, that dude is not good, man. He, he's gonna be a waste of a draft pick, man. He's gonna be hey, another. Hey, you Brandon just asked Marshall. me a question. You just asked me a question. I gave you an answer. You know, you think he's nice? I don't believe in it, but I just, I just told you what the draft board is saying. Oh wait, yeah, and yeah. Hey, the nigga from TCU, from the boards, is saying that he's a lot better than um the nigga out of Tennessee. That's all I'm gonna say. And they thought Kevin Benjamin was good too, man. Hey. He won. Uh, I don't know what they saw in Kelvin Benjamin, bro. With all that wide receiver talent, they, I don't know why or what they saw in Kelvin Benjamin. A big, body, a big guy, just a big like, body, like, like TCU. Just like TCU. Just a big guy. Nah, he, no nah, he not Kevin Benjamin's size, though. But nah, he, he's not, but he, he's a nice size. He ain't Kevin yeah, shout out, shout out Dead hey, Rabbit in the chat. He say AR fifteen gonna be trash. I think so. I don't think I don't think he come. I, I don't I, look. I just don't see what the fuss is about. I mean, not unless you want a running quarterback, if that's how, you, if that's where you want to go, because because he, he's gonna be. He's in there. Make no mistake. He he got breakaway speed now. And I'm gonna I'm tell you another sneaker wide receiver. Two of them. But everybody know about the kid from Boston. But that kid out of University of Houston. He's a beast. He's a, he's another Tyreek Hill with height. He's a beast. Hey, got a kid, got a kid out of Boston College. I, see him. I know. Fuck the SEC because I watch ACC. Mm -hmm. I respect the SEC, but that nigga from Boston College is real. Well, check out well, if you if you on your computer right now. Check out that wide receiver from the University of Houston that's coming out. I got you. Yeah, he's he's a beast. Like I, I think like the nigga run like a four one or a four two with the ball in his hand. Well, it's exciting time to get ready. You got your coaches. You about to get your free agents. Hey, you got hey, hey Derek, sorry ass car coming. Hey, Dougie, I'm glad we finally got all our coaches now. God, we the first team to do it. First thing hold on, hold on, C Dougie. What you just say about dead car? <laughs> Nah, what you just say? 
See, Dougie, yeah, see, Dougie, you do too much. Look, let me say this. Let me say this. You do too much research not to have seen these motherfuckers. No, nah, th nah, this is what I said. Let me repeat what I said. I said, tip box number one is done. We got our coaching staff. I said, now it's time for free agency. Regardless of what we do, I said, you got some niggas think we get in their car. That's all I said. I ain't talking about you because the reports is out well, there. They look. I ain't saying I don't, I'm not telling you I want them. If you know what I want, nigga, I want to go get CJ. I think we can do it. I think we got the capital to do it. You want you want Mr. Strout. That that's what I want. Yeah, you man. I feel I feel like look, I feel like this. If we swap first pick, got two second, give one of them up, pick in the uh -huh. third, or give the third up. I don't give a fuck. We get a third up there, we stop there. We pick oh, twice oh, in the oh. fourth. Hey, you can package spoke. those four picks, move back in the third. You got one, two, and three round picks. First, second, third round picks. You uh, get CJ hey, Stroud. Hold on. Uh, yes, hold sir. On real quick. Whoever the fuck Victor Davis is in the chat, that that's 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 blatant disrespect. You can go ahead on with that shit. I might not agree with my guy Unc all the time. Yeah, what do you say? He said he said Unc, you a bum, not even a real fan. Man, please. Hey, see, see, Dougie, stop with that crazy shit. Shout, no, out, Victor yeah. shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shout out Victor Davis. Yeah, hey, hey, shout out Victor Davis. He ain't afeared me, see, Dougie. Don't even acknowledge this shit. Hey, 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 that nigga ain't afeared me. He's what he say, Victor hey, Davis. Oh. Shout out Victor Davis. What's problem? Hey, with, with, with all the news going on with the Carolina Panthers now, I won't be surprised if that y'all boy Big Wave listening. Fucking hey, look, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, look, man. Y'all look crazy as hell. I, I don't play. I ain't worried about none of that. I ain't worried about none of that. Shout out the guy. Shout out Victor Davis. You know what I mean? Because I don't know if he calling or he saying I'm not a real fan or he not a real fan. I mean, it really don't matter. You know. Shout hey, out. Man, I don't know. No, that's what he said. He said not even a real fan. Shout out Victor Davis. You know what I mean? Hey, nigga, oh, see, 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 Dougie, see, Dougie, getting all emotional. Yeah, oh, man. Hey, did you smoke you another blunt? Just roll it up. Roll it up and smoke one for me. Do that for me, um. Hey. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, Victor hey, Davis. Hey. Yeah, he a troll. He was a troll on my shit last night. See, Dougie, quit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, Dougie. See Dougie Carl getting all emotional over these crazy ass niggas. All right, I ain't going to say nothing. Yeah, calm down. Yeah, that, you shouldn't oh, even man. acknowledge this shit. Yeah, uh, man. Okay, CW, man. Victor Davis, call in Victor Davis. We are fair opportunists on this channel. Call in Victor Davis. Call in now. Well, you know, nigga, see, Doug, I don't need no defending, nigga. Doug, he don't need yeah. to do that. What the, the hell? You defend me. I'm telling you the same thing. Shit, I don't give a damn. So, so y'all know, I don't know what's wrong with my guy tonight. Keith, I need to get him a green thing. I'm gonna no, send him a packet. Don't. I ain't smoking that shit. That's no ass had episode. Hell nah, nigga. Hey, let's see. Oh, see, see, look, don't see Dougie. No, I don't want that to scare you by hell no nah. means. You got to you got to reach the final level to get there. You know what I mean? Right. Hey, you know, no. You got to have Oh, you sounded like a uh, you sounded like when you was on your podcast talking about you got to take a break. You sounded yeah, like Yeah, 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 I had to tap hey, out. You sounded like a preacher that party on a Saturday night, nigga. <laughs> it was in the pulpit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Big Cat, I'm on this Afghan glue over here today. Got my mouth dry, then a motherfucker, they got to drunk three bottles of water. I just woke my wife up. I'm, yeah, I mean, the shit is, is heavy, though. Well, well, you better, you better, you better, get a lot of, you better drink a lot of water. And CJ Stroud got, got better to, drink baby. a lot of got water. Got to, baby. Got to, baby. As a matter of fact, I need yeah. some with some electrolytes in it. That's what hey, you need. It's, it's, if CJ Stroud come in with his coaching staff, that's a lot of pressure, man. That's a lot of pressure on a young man. You think so? I don't uh, think yeah. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good goddamn part, because it, it leads me to ask you a question I asked on my platform. Shout out to Uncle Underscore 2020. Now, with all these coaches in here, Big Cat, Carla, C. Dougie, it's too much, too fucking much. 
Will 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 too many of these motherfuckers be pulling at CJ for instance? If if everybody wants to have a say so in the play call or which way or how the motherfucker should release his balls or how too he, many hands in a cookie jar. Honestly. You got damn right, see Dougie. Too many motherfuckers telling you how to make the motherfucking banana pudding. What he when you really only need to listen to one or two niggas. You know what I mean? Can I ask yeah. you a question on? Yes, sir. You are a Lakers fan, right? Sir. Yes, sir. Where, where, wherever Bron is, where I go, I go where Bron go. Oh, you're Bron fan. Let's talk about Lakers for a second. Yeah, yeah. How's it working out with all them superstars they brought in? How's it working out? Just one. <laughs> Give it a second. Give it a second. Well, they already don't try to Russell, Russell Westbrook. I mean, um, AD wants out, and so how, how does it look when you have bringing in a bunch of superstars? Dude, how does it? Look? I I wanna call them superstars. Yeah, but, yeah, I but, feel but, where you're going. Oh, but yeah, too oh, many, oh, too, too oh, many oh, motherfuckers oh, oh, wanna oh, be leaders. Oh, hold tight, oh, let me go back to that. Who's that man that said you wanna call him superstar? Uh that's that's this me, this Kev. Kev, 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 Kev I wanna right call him it's superstar. All right, all right, I'm clean you up right there. Don't even worry about it. I got your brother. Let me ask you this. James Harden, um Kevin Durant. Mm, Kyrie Irving, you call him oh, 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 you oh, talking about that he gonna play again. You talking about he gonna play again? Hold tight. Let me finish, brother. Okay. Kyrie, James Harden, and Kevin Durant in Brooklyn, right? Were they not in Brooklyn? No, nah, no, nah, they nah, they not in Ooh. Brooklyn. Where were they in Brooklyn? Nobody's in Brooklyn. Kevin were Durant. Were they in Brooklyn? <laughs> were they ever in Brooklyn? That's what oh, I'm yeah, asking. yeah, 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 yeah. That okay. was in Brooklyn. How, now, do, do you call those superstars? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you call them superstars? <laughs> yeah, now nah, those three I yeah. call superstars. Okay, what happened with those superstars when they got together? How many rings they that got? Shit had. That shit ain't gonna work. They fucking the same bitch. They want the same money. They want the same attention. All right. It ain't gonna work. That's all I gotta say, brother. <laughs> you better make it work. <laughs> <laughs> nah, big cat. I I, I asked that oh, question talk, because coach, I think referring to our coaching staff. Okay. Okay. It. I I think it could become a problem. Hey, um, can I shout this money out real quick? Shout shit, out. Shit. Why you asking me, nigga? Hey, because I don't want to interrupt you. That's oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do your thing. Go do, do right. your thing. Let me shout out Jarvis. He said, for what happened to the two wide receivers from Western Kentucky, most receptions. You talking about D. Wood Davis? Let me know in the chat. You talking about D. Wood Davis. That's the wide receiver that's entering the NFL draft. Shout out to Samuel Staten for that cash out. What's our package for? Justin or all in on CJ? Not sure. Good question, brother. Shout out to Stephen. He said, shout out to Mr. Preacher, Big Fat Kitty. Yes, sir. Shout out to Stephen. Panthers Uncensored Church. Better preach, man. Yeah, we all know when it's too many people, that's why you bouncing ideas. You know, when you're trying to focus how people have tunnel vision and they can't do multitask, it's just going to be beaming left and right, left and right, and you don't know who he's going to be listening to. So at the same time, do I think, me personally, I don't. But I can't see it being a problem if it is going to be a problem. I don't think it is because yeah, yeah, fuck knows all that. Hey, Ark, what's you the got... black count up on our on our coaching staff? Where were we at to our black count? We had five. <laughs> we had five. How many? Yeah, let's see. God damn. <laughs> we got five. We got five <laughs> black coaches. We just got the black five. house. God damn it. Shout out Steven again for their cash. Chef. Steve is showing big love tonight. Are we the Carolina? Are we the Carolina Panthers or the? Or the... Carolina, oh, the black Panthers. Carolina. Oh, are we the black? Are we the black. We are the black. Yeah. Hey, boys, hey, 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 Steve Wilson somewhere on that damn bridge in California. Stay right there. Stay right there. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. Stay right, the right there. The Stay right there. Stay right there. Good, good point. Good point. Good point. You brought up a good point. I'm not joking when I say this. How clever is David Tepper, right? Think about this. Think about this. God damn it. You're, so, you're a genius. I love you, brother. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. He's going through a lawsuit right now with uh, Steve Wilkes, mm -hmm. right? Right? Mm -hmm. And his lawyers came out after him not getting the job saying that we, <coughs> we take issues with him bringing in Frank Wright's daughter or Frank Wright's daughter already being there and he gets hired, right? Yep. He said, we got evidence that we're going we're gonna to support these things in, in mm -hmm. the organization for not hiring him, right? What You're better right. way? What better way to, to, to fight off racial discrimination Against uh, <laughs> a, a, a former yeah, African American, then to hire a full black <laughs> exactly. Then to hire twenty black men. <laughs> uh, I'm not racist.
racist. Look at all my but friends. That's essentially what we're looking at. Yeah. When you're looking at the sideline next year, it go, it's going to be all black. Now, it can go two ways. That's a fact. It can go one or two ways. That's a fact. These black these I tell you, unk, look, unk, well, all these blacks on the, on the sideline, we better not play night games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but Big Cat, that's the first thing I thought about. But on the flip side, yeah, yeah. it going to bring in some free agents. Yeah. yeah. Some, some nice free agents. The, David Tepper's playing side. chess right now. He's playing chess. When, yeah. when they get ready yeah. to go to that lawsuit and he say, he don't like me because I'm black. I won six games for him. I've turned this organization no. around. Yeah, he's going to bring them six niggas in and yep. say, go talk for me. Right. They go, and they, that's all they going to do is go vouch for him. Bing and bong. Yeah. Bing bong. He, there you go. He's going to say, look at my plantation right now. <laughs> look at it. What is he talking about? Yeah, Master, Master ain't making us sleep outside. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. We got big bed, Master Gibb. What's the over Frank. under that we catch uh, Frank Wright with a blunt and a do rag in his mouth? <laughs> What's the over under? See, he's probably doing it right now. By week one or by training camp, will he be? Will he have cornrows? Cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't be surprised if Frank Wright get up on that fucking podium. Yeah, I mean, what I was talking yeah. about, cuz, shawty, we ran the option yeah. route on you that, but cuz, four and them. <laughs> Next thing you know, his daughter gonna be dating one of them. Oh, no, no, we can't talk about nobody, kid. We ain't gonna talk about nobody. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You better. You better stop for Leo call back. But, but but fellas, no matter how much positive or negative we talk, I know y'all love y'all 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 love the y'all love the coaching staff. You know, we we just don't know who's gonna be who, uh, who's gonna have the power, who's gonna have to say so. Um, but it, it looks attractive. It looks attractive. The coaching staff. It yeah, attractive. please tell me, please. For to me, it's the it's the experience. It's the experience, and yeah, I like that. I like that. That the experience look attractive to me, and practice ain't gonna be the same practices that Shaq Shaq used to have. All them boys that been there for a while it ain't gonna be the same practice. It ain't gonna be the same practice. Shaq can go ahead and pack his bags to go to San Fran. And then have the flag in his hand and wave it all goddamn day. He he look good with green. He he could he could play his natural position with the, that defense over there in San Fran. He could just he could just move around, do what he do. But is he gonna be effective? That nigga's a rotational piece over there. Hey, see, Dougie, did you see the Panthers hired a uh, outside linebacker coach? Yeah, I said that. I said that, Andrew. That's the black man from Boston College. Okay. That was a good coordinator. I, I, I didn't. I didn't catch that. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know. You know. You know. I'm on that news. We up to five now. All right. What you feel about it, Andrew? Since you brought it up, I actually like. I, I don't know Boston the guy College myself. Good. I mean, I'm not nice. <clears throat> um, I, I really can't comment on that. I don't know much about him. Only thing I can say is him being a D coordinator. I did like what he did with Boston College because Boston College don't play no goddamn football. And, <laughs> yeah, see, 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 none of that shit is news to me. He he them them, them damn line outside linebacking line coaches, that shit ain't news to me. I'd be damned if I roll over for that. That shit, that shit, hell, man, you sign them motherfuckers and don't say shit, far as I'm concerned. Yeah, uh, yeah, I could, I could roll out of bed and, and, and say, put your hand in the ground or whatever, whatever. It's the offense and the defensive. And it's the it's the core pieces, man. Yeah, Andrew, I need to get you uh on on the fantasy slip for uh the Daytona 500. We'll we'll uh 
Or J- Joey Logano, where that nigga go over 27 and a half, Chase Elliott 31 and a half. Denny Hamlin. What, what, Labs Land? Or Labs no, Land? No, fantasy point, bro. Oh, don't tell me you don't watch. You watch NASCAR? You got damn right, nigga. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, See, where we from, NASCAR. bro? Hey, I followed NASCAR hey, for 20 years. I used to. Dale Earnhardt yeah. Jr. was my favorite. Oh, yeah. He was great. I was a well, junior fan. Nah, fuck you, fuck Yeah. <laughs> I've been to the damn Hall of Fame in Charlotte. What the fuck do you mean? Right there in um in um damn what the fuck um Yeah, it was right street. there on the strip, nigga. Yeah, and they, well, right right across the street because you take the Bass Pro at in Concord Mills. Right there. Hey, we got a caller from Alaska. Who's this? Okay. Kevin. All right, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm getting the fuck here. out of here, man. I'm gonna go get some coffee. I got some cone, um, some pecan. Hey, when you gonna do that? When you gonna do you, a you about to go somewhere hey, big Yeah, yeah. I, I want to do. Hold on. Um, uh, can I get with you? Uh, hey, you got an email or something? We've been looking for you, nigga. I mean, uh, not nigga. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Who you talking about, Andrew? Andrew? Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me take. Yeah, you. yeah. Andrew a vampire. We yeah, can't I'm find Andrew. Find you just come from out of nowhere. Give, give me your email and I'll okay. send it to you. Okay, Panthers News two four seven at gmail dot com. Hey, yeah, Andrew, we want to get a hold of you when we want to get a hold right, of you, right. brother. Facts, facts. Okay, I'll send that out to you right now. Hey, hey, let me ask you this. You okay with doing, like, Zooms and shit? Am I what? Okay with joining Zooms and shit, because you're a very knowledgeable man. Well, I don't know how knowledgeable I am, but hey, you know, I got nothing but time. I'm retired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Listen, yes, sir. Stay right there, yes, y'all. Sir. Let me, uh, I paid my dues. You, you deserve it, brother. You're a hard-working guy. As a matter of fact, I keep the live running a little bit. I'm going to go get some coffee. I got some coffee. Coffee oh, tonight, nigga? Yeah, I like coffee to wind down at night. Huh? I drink <laughs> coffee to wind down at night. Don't ask me why. Really, man? Yeah, don't ask me it's fucking right. why, nigga. Don't nah, make yeah, it's time to get some green thing back in your goddamn coffee, body. Man, it, it balances me. <laughs> coffee. I like um, the caramel pecan blend. Yeah. yeah, hey, look, I had a uh, a little, uh, what was that, uh, chocolate caramel creamer this morning. That shit was delicious. Yeah, yeah, shout out Big Cat for talking about night coffee. Yeah, I think I do have a little ADHD. Why are you joking? Yeah, I think I do. Yes, sir. I think I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. But I do. I, I like ain't coffee. Wrong with it. I do. Um, it ain't nothing wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it rolling for a little bit longer. I'm just going to hit this coffee shop here. Uh, Get some coffee and... um. Coffee and trees. No, I don't have no trees down here, man. My, actually, my uh, counselor or my uh, therapist, she said she's going to give me my card next time I see her. So I think she's she working on me to get my card so I can, go, I can get it. See, when they're trying to make it to where, like, if you're terminally ill, that's the only time you can get it. But I ain't, I ain't terminally fucking ill. You know what I mean? But a nigga be, doing, nigga be having, like, um, anxiety and shit. I should be able to get it still. Seriously. So fucking funny, nigga. <laughs> so fucking funny, nigga. Nah, because I'm laughing because you said terminally ill. They they nah. can give you that shit for nerves nah, and stress. No, nah, no, the shit. fuck down here they say in Georgia you gotta have terminally illness to get your card. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying because you said terminally ill. I, what the fuck? Like that's what I'm saying because I know a you don't know what states. terminal means, nigga. No, I'm saying different states. You don't have to be oh, terminally man. ill. You can have stress and anxiety oh, and they man. give you the shit. Don't worry about it, big cat. The yeah. beach beach trip coming, yeah, my nigga. Yeah. Beach trip locked in. Oh yeah, speaking, yeah, speaking yeah, trip, yeah, 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 yeah. If you, <laughs> if you got, if you guys are wondering, June um twenty eight. Hold on, let me get the date out. Twenty seventh, ended the twenty seventh. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Hold on. Twenty seven. Right? Yeah, we'll be there on the twenty seventh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Them gonna be. From June. T- <laughs> Shout out to Steve. <laughs> Shout out to Steve for the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Big Cat, I'm looking forward to it. You yeah, feel me, too, me We fucking too, man. <laughs> God damn, yeah, bro. Listen, I can't wait to the beach trip from June 27, 28, 29, 30. I'll be there to the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be in that bitch for a while, bro. <laughs> Hey, listen, if you haven't already... Hey, we gonna be some black. I believe... Yeah. Hey, my wife, you hear my wife there. Damn, you black as hell. Yeah. I hear yeah. that shit all the time. All right, get the fuck out of my favorite. You ain't got black as hell. Fact, fact. Shout out to my nigga Marcus with that big dono. I yeah, want, yeah. I want with the GMG regardless of my role. 
Okay, facts. Okay, hey, hey, see that you put this nigga down, Marcus Miller. He want. He Miller? said he want to. He want to roll with the GMG. Did he pay you? Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, now. come on. Now, okay. Come on, nigga. Don't do that. Don't hold my nigga. Out. Don't hold my nigga. Out. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm gonna send Marcus a Marcus Miller. Shout out, Steve, and yeah. say for the NASCAR sucks. <laughs> Right. Damn, Steve. Uh, you got you know what you got to do. What you got to send me info so yeah. I can send them the on welcome package. Hey, Marcus, Marcus, real quick, email me a uh, uh, cash at me and put your email in there. I need your email so I can send you the link. But yeah, l l listen, y'all. If y'all haven't already, the tripping will be in June. If you want to come hang with myself, my nigga, Unc, see that he's not gonna be there. I think. What you say, you're going? Where you going, bro? I be I be in a Caribbean cruise, twenty third to the twenty uh twenty seventh. So you're going to our gay cruise on the 27th, 23rd? You said 27th, 23rd, I right? Hope you enjoy yourself, man. Yes, yeah, sir. That's my oh, you know, damn, that's boys. Well, you enjoy that my cruise. My bad about you, that. That's all good. You, you enjoy that cruise, man. I'll be on a cruise, man. Now, let me ask you this. Oh, let, let me ask you this, see, Dougie. How many niggas you plan to entertain while you're on there? Like, like how many drinks you going to have? I'm gonna have more than two. I ain't gonna be a loser. <laughs> so you gonna have more than two niggas on you, bro? That what you saying? More than two? Yeah, I'm gonna have more than two. Mm. What's, your, what's your preference? Do you drink? Yeah, I had one drink tonight. See, Dougie, one. How you like to take oh, it, black man. or white, bro? What's your what's your prefer preference? Oh, I'm gonna be on that white Hennessy on the goddamn boat. White, okay. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna be on that white Hennessy. It ain't no joke. You want a bottle? Because you know nah, you can only get them on cruise. I'm a cruise pass. You can't I'm get a... that shit in America. Nah, I'm a pass. <clears throat> but yeah, man. So we're gonna be at Myrtle Beach for this vacation, um, June 27th. Goddamn petty mofo. I know that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be there June 27th. This shit. Yeah, we're gonna be chilling. You know what I mean? I tell you this, man. If you get up, if you had the privilege to meet up with us, man, and uh. We're gonna have some fun, man. You know, we're gonna have some fun, man. Uh, and it's a holiday weekend too. You know what I mean? Start there. Yeah, who's this? Hey, yo, big cat. Hey, that nigga C Dougie, gay as hell, boy. Yeah, I think he is. That's that's, that's fine now. Stay right there. Yeah, beat shit gonna be fun. All right, what's good with you, Big Cat? Hey, real shit, I got a question for you, though. Hey, if we get Derek Carr and then stay at number nine and draft somebody on defense, what's that nigga named? Tyrese, the defensive lineman? And then take a quarterback in the second round, the oh. white boy, what is his name, McKee? Well, I don't know white boys. We white men? McKee? The quarterback, <laughs> what's his name, from Stanford? Oh, McKee. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can take McKee. I like, yeah, or Benny. What you think about Benny? Benny's my I know guy, that's man. Your food He's my guy, man. Listen, people want to clown up for being drunk. Oh, so what? Nigga, like a good taste. Stay right there. Let me let this other call in here. Yo, who's this? <clears throat> Stop fucking calling the fucking line if you're not going to answer, bruh. All right, tell you what. I'll tell you what. You want to play these games? Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there, callers. Stay right there. I told you about that. Everybody there? Everybody there? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this motherfucker, I told you not to call, and you want to keep calling. So, stay right there. I like to play games, too. I'm stupid with it. Let's play games. If you guys would, please call this guy right here, 907-215-8041. Guys, give this guy a call right here. He, he likes to need some entertainment. He keeps calling the line and hanging up. I don't know. I guess he wants some attention. So we're going to give him all that he can handle. If he doesn't answer, please leave him a nice voicemail. Preferably with a lot of M's, F, and N's. 907-215-841s, okay? All right. Now, what's your question about the draft? I was saying if we stay at number nine and then still get Derek Carr and then maybe draft a defensive end, what's his name? That Everybody's talking about that Seattle's going to get at number five. Oh, you're talking about that Tyree to do from Texas Tech? Yes, sir. If we get him at number nine. If we can get him and fuck around and put him next to uh on the outside of uh Derek Brown and fucking Brian Byrne, whoa, that's gonna be nasty. 
That'd be crazy. That's you gonna know be what fucking saying? nasty. Defense wins championships. Hey, that, to me, you know can I be saying? honest with you, brother? That's the only way I'm yeah. staying at nine. If he's there at nine, that's the only way I'm staying there. That's the only way I'm staying you there. Said, man. You said if CJ. No, 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 no. If 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 old buddy stays there. Shout out to my nigga Andrew. Okay, I got your email, brother. Got your brother. Thank you, brother. If 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 Tyree is still there at nine, that's the only way I stay there without trading back. Matter of fact, I have a mock draft for you coming uh, about worst case scenario. Worst case uh -huh. scenario, I'm going to show you guys when all the quarterbacks are gone, who's on the board, what we're going to do. So I just want to show you that kind of perspective. It's coming. It's coming. I might record it in the morning. I think, see that you, you available in the morning? Hey, nigga. Hey, shout out Samuel and shout out Bryce for those cash apps, man. I love both of y'all boys. I'm going to cuss that nigga out, bro. Where you go? That's the shit I be talking about. Fucking nigga be disappearing and shit. What the fuck be wrong with this nigga, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I could run. <laughs> I wish I could reach through this motherfucker, bro. Just... Who, who disappeared? See Dougie? See Dougie, man. We in the middle of a show. Motherfucker just disappeared, man. I'm asking you. Yeah, see that big <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. That one you go. That one you go get your coffee, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to fight his ass. I told him when I see this nigga, I'm, I said, listen, bro, don't shake my You head. hit his ass. I'm on it. You hit it. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, his mama, his mama gonna say, "Why y'all doing like that? Yeah, why y'all doing like that?" I'm always somewhere. I'm, I'm gonna pop that big ass fucking lip like a fucking balloon in China. I'm gonna bang. <laughs> I apologize. I was a little bit obsessive. <clears throat> All right, Big Cat, you got to get a bottle of Crown XO. Good drink. I'll try that today. I'll try that tomorrow night. Never had Crown. I like Crown. Crown's a little sweet. Crown apple sweet. I don't like that shit. I like... Do say, man. Do say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> good man. Good man. Good man. Good man. Good man. Big yeah, cat. ain't nothing like Duce. I can't even mock. Ain't nothing like it. Duce, you know, it don't get you full like that neither. Nah, it don't, you know, it don't, it don't, the bro. bullshit hey, bro, let me tell you something, bro. Hey, I she took my, hey, hey, oh, yeah, I took my shown, I took my shown to uh, the, the Juicy Crab the other day. The Juicy mm -hmm. Crab, them hoes be making, um, they make Duce lemonade. Real good. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I heard you talking about yeah, that. Yeah, real. You know, I, I think you put me onto the lemonade mix. Shit good, bro. Yeah, shit that good, shit good, good man. Right, right. See, I like you, oh, bro. On, on the rocks, big cat. On the rocks, motherfucker. I drink three about six of them. Three, you the drunk two, three, four of them motherfuckers. Listen, But, but it, it hit your ass late. It don't hit you right oh, away. Oh, it don't hit you. Go hit you. Yeah, that motherfucker uppercut you. Had your lip hanging like Doug. But that, that but shit gonna have But you ain't gonna be hung over and throwing up no goddamn yeah, way. Yeah, I never it, threw up on this shit. Huh? Oh, hell nah. Do say don't never do me wrong. Hell nah. Nah, hell nah. Don't do you wrong oh, at all. Hell, you man. wake up good. I lo Look, I love Do say. Yeah. Shout out Do say. Big Do say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, good sponsorship coming down the yeah, pipe. Yeah. About to smack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bottles of Duce all in the backdrop. Hey, Trust and believe. You know how to ride a motorcycle, bro? I ain't getting on no fucking bike. Yeah, I ain't getting on one. Bro. I ain't getting on one that big guy. No, sir. Hey, what y'all going on? I know you said you stepped out, brother. Yeah, yeah, me and my wife. I, I, I say, where she won't go, Longhorn Road, how she chose Longhorn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good meal tonight. Yeah, man, I had, about, I had a good uh, Coke and Jack. Yeah. Jack and Coke. That's about it. How many you have, brother? You can only do one. That's how I watch. But I'm, I'm feeling good, though, Big Cat. Like I said, I got the egg good over here. I'm the nice and stuff. I the egg good. Uh, yeah, man, shit. Once you jump off, I'm going to go to sleep. I know that for a fact. Hey, 